Hello, everybody. I think I'm ready to get started. So before we go into the dungeon proper, I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup from the previous session. And then we're going to go to this place, which we hear the music to currently, the Volcano Isle. So I just want to showcase a couple things that are missable. Uh, I will make I will make a note. I technically missed an item permanently, and you'll understand in a moment because I didn't talk to the mouse again after being rescued by just exiting the room where Mint was with them and coming back to open up a secret passage. We saw the item as we we're climbing down the rope the other day. But ultimately, I don't even know if I really consider that a side quest to be honest. And one thing that might not be apparent as we go through the rest of the playthrough is that side quests generally just kind of suck. Like, I'll give an example. Uh, there's going to be a couple of them that require us to pay 5,000 gold, 2,000 gold. And our reward is mostly just kind of like an image update. And that's it. We don't get like new gear. We don't get anything crazy. So... Honestly, I'm thinking of skipping almost all the side quests that involve money. Otherwise, I think I have to pay upwards of like 15,000 gold between all the different quests. And given that I'm not looking to grind, I'm like, no way. Yeah, there's some that like maybe, maybe if it works out, I'll do it. But I don't know. We'll, we'll pick up one side quest item. Maybe we'll do a second. We'll see. It actually just depends on enemy drop RNG, to be honest with you, whether I do another side quest. Yeah, because for the most part, you saw I'm not really going to be grinding encounters, so I'm not really going to get money. Money's not guaranteed after battles either. Like, it's not like I get minimum gold per encounter, which also probably would have solved that issue, to be honest. Let's go ahead and boot up the game. Oh, well, it's not... It's always a quintet game when something is just like slightly not right. Just slightly not right. <laughs> Classic quintet. Oh, I forgot to mention when we were doing the... What's this one? When we were talking with the Count the other day. The Count, I'm pretty sure, is the same vampire sprite from Illusion of Gaia. I'm pretty sure. Alright, so I thought I was going to go straight from the harbor. I'm actually going to change my mind and come out of here. I'm going to showcase two things. So I, I just double checked between streams. So if you notice, if we come back to the haunted house, it's now just completely destroyed. What? Accounts mansion. What are you talking about? This place has been in ruins for 10 years. Before that, it was a mansion of a name, man named Polinky. I guess that's a joke because his name was Plinky, but they called him Polinky. Danger, do not enter. Yeah, no more spooky doll. I think this spooky doll was kind of a reference to Soul Blazer as well, when I think about it. Remember remember the ghost ship in Soul Blazer? She also had the Tetra Stone equivalency. Oh no no no, I don't want to go here. Wrong forest. There's also one item I didn't realize I could pick up earlier than before. So I'm not going to call this a routing error. I just didn't know. So there's actually an item here that I want. It is, I think, right here. Game, please. There we go. This will make sense later, I promise. <laughs> and yes, chat, it is obnoxious finding some of these items. <laughs> Just in case you were curious, yes, that is obnoxious. But anyway, uh, okay, so we got a plot item, side quest item, excuse me, not plot item. So we might as well go to the fishing hut. Oh, actually, no, I changed my mind. Now it's a routing mistake because there's somewhere I meant to go before then. I believe I know where I lost my money. I'm just gonna double check for sanity's sake. I don't know why I'm going up there. It was in here. I prefer not to get into too many encounters here, but we'll see what happens. Did I take this one? I did not take that money. Okay. Redemption. I was looking it up when we were kind of waiting before. And given that it doesn't super matter when I level for a while, 
Like, the next time I have to worry about my level up is when I hit level 15. That's where the missing gold was. That was going to bother me. I do need that gold for later, just for clarity. So I, if I didn't pick that up, I have a safety gold pickup, which I think I'm still going to pick up anyway. Because I was like, okay, what if that wasn't what I missed? Where can I get a thousand gold? Don't worry, I got, I got a backup for that. But anyway, let's go ahead and... I guess talk to the fisherman first. Calvisham thinks the blue citizen sprite from the mansion looks mad, I guess. Let's talk about the fisherman dialogue for a moment, though. When I was young, I went fishing in a boat. I really got around. That was a long time ago. I don't think you have anything of interest in here, right, old man? No, your life sucks. <laughs> Fisherman's house. 30 years of experience, chat. I'm the South Isle Guide. You're lucky. It's a great place. I'll guide you. Take this boat. It goes to South Isle. Come on, come on. Also, chat. Remember in Terranigma when I was confused why a Cape Town was on the map but we couldn't visit it? I think that's where the starting town of Illusion of Gaia was. And I just forgot that that was specifically Cape Town for some reason. So, oops. I don't know why that came to me now. But oh well. <laughs> I guess that was brewing in the back of my mind for months, literally. Welcome. I'm the Island God. That is my village. Come on. South Isle is a great place. Welcome. Well, Chan will be the judge whether or not it's a great place, I suppose. Let's go to the village. This is my village. I'll show you the volcano. You'll really like it. Look around the village today. Okay, so we gotta go to sleep at some point to advance the plot. I know the legend of the island. Want to hear it? Sure. Long ago, a deity landed on this island. Fire couldn't burn him. Spears couldn't harm him. The volcano troubled the people with earthquakes and ash. He went into the volcano and tamed it. Only the village elder knows where he is now. It'll save us again if we're troubled. Hmm. The deity's in the volcano, but when he gets mad, he's awful. Terrible, terrible. The deity's angry again. South Isle Tool Shop, 25 years of experience. I'm the village cook. I make delicious food. I simmer food for the village in this jar. Today's entree is... Roast you! Did I scare you? It's an old joke handed down through the years. It scares everyone. I think that was the same joke that was in Soul Blazer with the, the dog that served people in Greenwood. I don't know if the dog had a name. Shaman... Oh, the guy says, The shaman isn't here. No one's allowed in his house when he's not here. Go home. Hmm. Skull over the door. I'm sure that's not important for later. Oh, Mint's here. Nikki, isn't it? Did you get an invitation to come here? You're so gullible. Don't you know that everyone who got an invitation has disappeared? I think there's a connection between this and the hackers. If anything changes, let me know. Got it? We'll talk to each of the people. Welcome. We're glad you've come. This is a welcome dance. Welcome. This is a welcome dance. This is also a welcome dance. I wonder if this is also kind of a reference to Soul Blazer, where there are always dancers in towns. Shaman says, Elder, the deity wants the treasure back, or the volcano will blow. I'm taking it back. The deity is good. He wouldn't do that. It's my job to guard the treasure. I can't hand it over. You're stubborn. Something bad will happen. You better change your mind. I'll be back. You're defying the shaman. You are impudent. Get out. This is the elder, the top man in the village. But lately, the shaman has been catching up. This is the elder, the top man in the village. I say the same thing for some reason. I apologize to our visitors seeing such a shameful thing. But it's nothing. Forget it. Oh, we'll forget it. I'm sure that won't be relevant to the plot. Well, anyway, time to... I guess I could check out the tool shop, not that I plan on doing anything here. I like how it's the same guy and everything.
The oh, the mayor is here. Oh, Mickey. Did you get an invitation too? Me? This is one of my jobs. <laughs> did Rose turn you up? Oh, did Rose turn up? Where to go to the ocean? I, I mean, on a guided tour. Did you see the whole forest? Get some rest today. Tomorrow you'll go to the volcano. Your bed is over there. Get some sleep. Good night. Oh, I can't sleep in the wrong bed. Well, I'm sure the volcano tour will be quite lovely. So let let's just sleep. Hello, robot that we don't know the name of. What is this place? A spaceship? Tetron? Mickey? Yeah, 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 yeah! What is this? Something huge has come! Terrible, terrible! Hmm... Is that their deity? We seem to have the power of dreams, because we're getting plot details when we sleep. Great weather again today. Today you'll go to the volcano. Your god is at the village entrance. You find Rose, tell her to come back here. It's a good day for inspection, but... Also, shoutouts to Alpha Wolf for following. Thank you for that. You're wide open! Yep. <laughs> gonna say the follow alert shook the screen let's talk to mint oh, dodging me what what's change what you sent for me such a nice thing to say good day, good day to see the volcano follow me i'll show you the volcano the deity is happy well we're just gonna go up to the volcano i'm sure everything will be completely fine and this will be a totally normal trip to a totally normal volcano. If I go left there, I believe it's either Cestus or 300 gold, which I don't care about. So I'm gonna ignore the capsule that you see there. Volcano's down there. The volcano's fun. You have to go on alone. I'll wait here. Oh, we're just gonna... Go alone into the volcano. So this will be fine. Oops. You're not sightseeing. You're a liar. But the deity wants a sacrifice. Yay, I love sacrifice. You're a messenger of the deity, and now I'll meet you. You'll be sacrificed. Don't be bitter. Bye-bye. So I think he took the rope. What a nice guy. I do not want to fight the spiders. I don't want to... Okay, chat. The fear is real. If this spider hits me, I'm so dead. I'm not dealing with the spider. Alright, so we're here. Let me just reset the room to make sure I got good timing. I think I'm going to be in a forced encounter here, which is fine. As long as I go first, I don't care. A little bit of bonus XP. So our goal, I believe, is to get to the northwest portion of this room. Ooh, random item. Axe 1, that's a sellable. It's right there, I might as well just grab it for safety. Oh, you're the new sacrifice guy? Good, I'm short-handed around here. I'll show you the shop. This is your shop. If you try to run, you'll be thrown into the volcano. Just so you know. <laughs> Let's see if we... Oh. We're actually allowed to just leave? I don't think I've ever tried leaving before. To be honest with you. The item's not worth it. That's kind of funny. I don't think I've ever just tried walking out the door, to be honest with you. <laughs> In any of my playthroughs. Oh well. We got a free cure, I guess. Did you get an invitation too? The tour's changed a little. This is the Factory Experience Tour! I think that's Stella from next door. This is a sightseeing tour. We've been cheated. What's next? It's pitch black in there. Well, let's go investigate the switch. Oh, I felt a powerful urge to sneeze and it did not come out. That is the worst feeling, chat. 
All right, so if I perform well here, I can ignore a very annoying segment of this game. Okay. Okay. Damn, that was so good, chat. Squeak, squeak, says the mouse. So anyway, it is a stealth section, but for some reason they don't spot you if you take a very specific route. Mice could use this mouse hole to come and go. Handy, squeak. Anyway, I believe we have to go in here next. Let's read it. Hacker public toilet. Chief exec toilet. Do not use. Don't forget to flush. At least they flush, Chad. I can't believe this is South Isle. I have to work in this dark lab every day. Can't stand it. But it's better than HQ. Anyway, don't you think the new boss is awful? He holds a grudge against Rococo, so he kidnaps the villagers and makes them work. It's terrible. But if you oppose him, you have to do toilet cleaning. If you're bad, you'll be changed into a mouse. Oh no, not Mickey. Gotta be careful. Hey, hey, hey. Did you hear us talking? Plan to tell anyone? Um, uh, I'm gonna say I'm not saying. Please, oh please, keep it to yourself. We'll be turned into mice. Alright, fine. We'll tell him. I won't tell anyone. Good, good. Keep quiet and I'll put a stamp on your hand. With one of these, you can get into most parts of the lab. But it's a secret. Make you received a stamp from the soldier. So, Chan, I'm gonna have to remember how to get back to this bathroom multiple times, by the way. So I'm just kind of staring at where we are. Okay. Please get out of here fast. You'll be suspected. Yeah, I'm sure I'm sure Chris is loving it. Out of curiosity, it is another cure. Some of the items I have maps for, so I just look at the map. But I don't have this particular map open. Ooh, it's too I was sloppy with movement. I deserve that, I got punished. Oh, it doesn't work anymore? Or is that just too slow? Let's find out together, chat. Oh, that worked. Anyway, I need to flip the switch. That is not what I meant to do. Oops. I got ahead of myself on that one. Oh. That's what happens when you mess up the cycles. It doesn't reset the switches, but we reset the switches ourselves. So it's a simple port. I'm fast. It's like, it's so precise. Okay, I'll go a little slower. You know how much I love stealth sections in games. actually safe for a moment. If I had gone left there, I would have been fine. That is so sad. So yeah, now I'm off cycle since I'm not used to doing it from this side. Punished so hard for missing the stealth section. I know. I, I was one guard away from doing what I needed to do. And I'll take it real slow. They have kind of wonky vision as chat can see. I just want to make sure he doesn't see me, because he looks up briefly. Alright, so all I need to do is hit this, and then we're good. Because I don't think I could be caught here, as long as I go, like, right now. Alright, so my goal was over here. I'm going to flip the switch for later. Where are you going? A stamp on your hand. Okay, you could pass. I'm just reacquainting what I need to do. Um, guess it doesn't super matter when I level. Getting attacked there doesn't matter, so I'm not really stressed. But I think I will smoke bomb this room afterwards just to make my movement easier. Got a cure. Ooh, I think I froze him in the way. Oh, froze him in the way. That was bad. Should have waited.
Again, I don't think getting bonus XP here matters at all. I have to go back to an R&D room no matter what at several points. Curiosity. It is 600 gold. I did need that. Seriously? <laughs> just getting, getting hard camp there, chat. Roll your eyes. Alright, so let's go to the locked door. Listening at the door, you hear voices. It's a worthless plan, kidnapping factory workers from Rococo. There's a labor shortage. The budget's been slashed. What do the hackers think of the invention? Never asked you to invent anything. You could just run this android laboratory. And why would it take such a long time just to threaten the elder? Hey, I have my own plan. Don't worry about it. Okay. Now let's see what you could do, Dr. Einst. I'll take the mayor. That's the whole key to my whole plan. But doesn't it seem like that guy's been listening to everything we say? What? Hey, what are you doing? Oh, flung. Idiot. 100 years of toilet cleaning for you. Get out of here. Well, we just overheard the master plan. Oh boy, chat. <clears throat> so, from here... We have to return to the bathroom. We have a very bathroom-oriented plot goal. If I get into a fight here, it doesn't matter. As long as he doesn't... Didn't hit me. That did hit me, though. That was a waste. Can I escape without... Are you really gonna make me smoke bomb, too? Seriously? Thank you. I might not have to revive here. I might just take the damage for now, we'll see. Wow, they are in horrible positions. There we go. I'm very close to an R&D lab just for chat information. That's why I'm not really that worried. I think I want to get caught here just to go back here. I'm not going through the switches in reverse. Actually, I should not have hit the switch then. Oh well. Should have ignored the switch. I must be off by like a fraction of a second. There we go. Oh no, 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 no hesitation, no hesitation. We just gotta do it, chat. <laughs> there we go, no hesitation. Let's go back to the toilet. What? Mickey, it's me. Don't you recognize me? Wait over there. It's me, Kotetsu. The invitation tricked you too? What a shame. What are you doing here? Be quiet. This is one of my important jobs. Aren't you the one having trouble getting out? There's something I want to loan you. Come with me. Chief Executive Toilet. Penalty for use. 10 years toilet cleaning. You want to escape? Go this way. It's a garbage chute. Comes out in the volcano somewhere. That's very reassuring. What? It smells. All you do is complain. I'll turn you over to the soldiers. Um... Actually, I forgot we're going to be leaving the volcano briefly. Uh, in that case, I'll take a repair here. Which is fine. Well, Mickey, take care. We'll just buy a repair to make up for this later. Uh... Ooh, I hit him kind of weird. Hopefully that doesn't make him go first. Okay, I didn't. Boss Toad is worth a hilarious amount of XP. He was worth as much as, like, having three enemies in some of the other encounters. So because I want some XP, I might as well just murder. The only thing I have to be careful of is some of the boss toads have stuff I don't want. Oh, 300 gold, so I could pay for my repair. That's convenient. Uh, do I want that? I probably should have had my map open for this area. I definitely want this XP, though, since I'm here. Hit level 11, nice. So I'm going to max 
power, I think. Oh yeah, I'm like, I'm definitely way over XP'd. So I'm at the level I should be at the end of the dungeon for my route, which is fine. I don't really care. Correct that later. Um, I guess it doesn't matter for now. Set up for something later. Listen, if we got to take safety strats, I'll take the safety strats. Ooh, getting into... I should have waited a bit longer on the dialogue there. I think that is going to cost me a life, which is unfortunate. Yeah, that was not worth it. Not worth. <sighs> Take up out of the spider. I could fight the guy on the bottom left, but I already leveled, so I don't need the XP. Did not want to get fought by that, but that's fine. Hit me is going to have to tank it out, chat. These things go pretty quick, as you can see. <sighs> really? Come on. There we go. I don't want to use smoke bombs. That's a big waste of money. Okay, dodge. Oh, my bad. This is the place with two doors. Baited by the doors. I have to remember, I have to go to the left door more than once. Ser Seriously? <laughs> wow. That was... That was unfortunate. He juked me twice on that one. Come on, game. Just let me go. He gets back attack there. It doesn't matter. I should be immune to... Please don't make me smoke bomb here. I really don't want to smoke bomb here. Thank you. I need them to go away from the door for a second. There we go. I'm going to do something like this. <laughs> there we go. We made it out. Now we're in the shaman's house. What happens if we try finding the shaman? Shaman has devoted himself to the service of the deity. It's very important. Shaman can hear the voice of the deity. If you interfere, you will be punished. Go away. Hey, you can't go near the place of the deity. Like the skull. Yeah, hit me was tanking like a pro, for sure. Yeah, you? Oh no, he's come back to life. A curse, a curse. So sadly... I died after the level up, because the level up I could have also used to heal myself. I'm gonna use that extra money to get a free repair. Ooh, repairs are 450. I mean, that's still fine, because we got extra money. I'm gonna use one of our many cures. Repair. Let's proceed. I still have an okay amount. I think I'm fine. I need to have 1800 gold, and I already have more than that, so the rest is just free repair money. Which is fine. Let's talk to- actually, where is everybody else before I go further? I'm assuming the mayor is no longer here, based off the earlier conversation. The summon orders that you be sent to the volcano. I had nothing to do with it. Okay, so they do acknowledge that they sent us to the volcano. still doing their little happy dance. The sacrifice has come back. The older says you're a messenger from the deity. The sacrifice returns. You are truly a messenger. Please save our village. Listen to the elder. In the village of shamans and leaf skirts, we can still repair the high tech stuff? Of course. The deity is kind. But the shaman says if there's no sacrifice, he'll get mad, and so will the volcano. The deity is demanding the sacrifice of a pretty girl. There are no pretty girls in the village. I've heard that story. Interesting. A pretty girl is to be sacrificed, but there aren't any here. Wait, did you hear? Mint has volunteered to be the sacrifice. 
We'll find out what the deity really is. Mickey, you should go along. Why the long face? Do you think she should go alone? Oh, I have control. You're both brave, but you'll be fine. You're a messenger. The deity protects you. Well, into the box. Get in the box, chat. We're very close to an extremely overpowered item. Just FYI. We're very close. This dungeon is going to be where we do basically all of our crafting and everything else. I could have technically crafted on the other level up, but it doesn't really matter. I, I don't need it yet anyway. Say, wait here and the deity will come. We're scared of him. We're getting out of here. Here it is, the tribute. Take it to the director's room. Mickey, I think they're gone, but where are we? I chant some- oh, so- we Welcome, little girl. Don't be afraid. I'm very gentle. I wanted to show something off, but I messed up by accident because I was about to sneeze again. Man, I really wish the sneeze would come. But anyway, apparently when you pick up that item, you can hit left and right to trigger him coming in earlier than expected, but my bad, chat. I messed that up. Welcome, little girl. Don't be afraid. I'm very gentle. After all, I'm the deity. Dot 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 dot. It's it's you, Mint. And and you, your evil continues. I'm embarrassed. Are you trying to escape, you coward? So this is the way the shaman hears the words of the deity. Hmm? The deity's voice sounds so young today. Must be because of the sacrifice. Anyway, I need this key. They don't have girls in the village, just not pretty girls. I didn't see any women in the village, to be honest with you. Alright, so ch if chat is wondering... If you're not level 16 when you come here, which obviously we were like, what, level 11 or 12 or something? Uh, there is a place where you can get all the books later on. So you don't need to revisit the dungeons for these. For people looking to get all the recipes. So now, chat, we gotta go back. Gotta get into this room again. I'm gonna avoid using a smoke bomb because I just really don't want to buy more of them later. But but would it make sense, chat, if I told you? Oh, I got I have to flip this to go down here. That makes more sense now. Never mind. Doesn't that make sense though if I told you that the the way to get to it is hidden? <laughs> It exists, but you still have to know about it. Oh, I hesitated too long. See, that sounds more quintet, right? There we go. Now we're going back to the toilet again, chat. Mickey, good timing. Something to ask you. Vector Ainz has disappeared in here. Can you look for him? I can't let him run around loose like this. Why can't I look myself? It's the men's room. Women can't wander around in here. So let's use the executive toilet, which is also an elevator. Hi, right, chat. We're going to go for this. I don't know if it'll work. Oh, I was slightly too slow. So close. So there's an invisible laser there. Something suspicious here, but we don't have the means of finding the very obvious entrance to the door. So I think if I do exactly four searches with no hesitation, I will get the timing proper. Oh, there we go. There we go. First time I've ever done that. Oh, we don't do anything for investigating the toilet. So there you go. Little little buffer strat there, chat. You like that? I've never done that before. Did you find him? What? No one there. A dead end? Oh well. There's still something here. I'll check around. Well, Mickey, be careful.
let's see, where are we in the plot? Okay, we gotta go to the upper right. Mm. So we, we will get an item eventually that will let us see those lasers. Need to equip the key. I still have a lot of smokes, which is good. Wait, did I not equip the key? I must be hitting cancel too soon. There we go. That is really unfortunate. He just immediately ran for me. I don't want to take this encounter. I think this is going to force a smoke for me. Goodbye, other turbos. I just, I just need like a moment to pause to double check where I need to go. Do I go to the cafeteria now? I do. Like our lunchroom this this week. Giblet stew. Hey, be quiet. Aren't you Mickey? I'm Katetsu. What? Looking for the chief? You're crazy. There's some kind of trick here. There are hidden doors and traps. Chameleon glasses will help you see them. Of course, I have some. Oops, that was weird. My phone activated for some reason. Apologies for that. What, you want some? A good life isn't given to you. You have to earn it. But the R&D is making them. R&D is right from here, but it's hard to get in. There's no delivery man, so the cookie's crabby with everyone. Help is short everywhere. Let's keep talking to these people. Every day the same thing. I'm tired of it. Makes me feel like I'm not working. I'm gonna do research on rebuilding humans, but the new chief has been building strange machines. I've already said too much. Full strength. Drink Eins Dynamite Drink. Improve your inventions. Improve your inventions, champ. So anyway, we gotta talk to this guy to advance the plot. After we talk to Katetsu. Good time, and have you got a minute? We'll say sure. Good, we're shorthanded. It's a real problem. Can you take some food to R&D for me? Say you're from catering and they'll let you in. Just do this for me. Oh, I'm so busy. Okay. An A lunch, in a hurry. I have to go on mouse hunting duty. There's lots of mice lately. Mama's homemade meatloaf. All oh, the trimmings. What, you don't have any? I gotta go there for the bonus dialogue. Okay, so R&D is where I need to do some things. So we have to go this way now. Gonna avoid all the encounters. I didn't really see spotted me. That's annoying. I think I'm just gonna kill him here rather than try to retreat. I have to be a little careful since I'm a little above where I need to be. Uh, I need this eventually. I guess I could take it now. I thought I was fine for a second because I paused. I'm a little sad that I'm getting all this extra XP now. I mean, it means one less fight or two less fights later on. Okay. Oh. There's... I thought there was a door here. That is really unfortunate then. Because I think I just screwed up big time. I, f I was thinking I had to go here and I realized I need an item to do that. That is really unfortunate. I should have looked at my notes. There's a lot of encounters. Okay, that's fine. It's not like we could die here as long as I don't get hit from the side. It's just unfortunate. Okay, so there was money in front of me, which actually makes life a bit simpler. Okay, that, that makes it better. Now I've made up for the repair, if I need it. So I'll take that. These guys are worth at least a decent amount of cash. 
I really don't want to fight whatever that is, for sure. I need you to go away. I also can't smoke bomb because he's in the way. Can you please move? Oh my gosh, I'm getting trolled for real. I think I just gotta fight you. Unfortunate. I did not want to take these encounters. It means I'm gonna have to use smoke bomb a lot harder in one of the later areas. Yeah, so my goal eventually is to go to the upper left. That thing is... Okay. Oh, I don't know what the timing is here at all. This is unfortunate. I think I'm just gonna have to guess. I think if he touches me, he'll walk away. Or not. Just need to leave the screen with him and I'll be fine. Please go, please go away. We're just gonna reset the room real quick, Chad. Don't mind me. <laughs> just, I don't feel like doing that. So we took more safety gold. <sighs> I thought the door was down to the left. Oh, I have my notes wrong. I'm so sorry, Chad. I... Ooh. This is really bad. We need to escape this one immediately. I am not dealing with back attack like that, if we can avoid it. Now the question is, where is everybody else relative to this guy? Oh, they're in a way that's going to force the encounter. Eh, it really sucks. Yeah, I think the confusing part is just like, again, if you haven't played in a while, knowing where the door is is actually more of a problem than you think it is because there's so many like little dead ends and it's very easy to get hooked there. I think I'm going to have to pull out the map for this place. Just because I want to make sure I don't run into enemies going forward if we can. We're almost at the R&D lab, at least. Is this more money? Oh, it's just Cure. That wasn't worth it. I need to get all the scraps we're seeing down there eventually. Yeah, hold on. I'm just opening a map. is not. Uh, I think I need to go from here to here. Okay. So that does clarify a couple things for me. So I could get those items now, and I think I will. So our goal is the upper left. I want to not get... How did he see me through the wall? That is... That is so unfortunate. So we're gonna reset him real quick. We need this item, I'm pretty sure. Got four, I needed that. Ooh, that was almost really bad. So let's go this way. I think there's one more item that I 100% need. That's more money. So now we're basically back on track. I'm re- I'm re- No! I just- I missed the door! Run- run animation, please. I beg of you. That was so cruel. That was so cruel, Chad. I just wanted to go through the door and it overshot. Oh, what a waste. I'm so disappointed right now. It's exactly what I was looking to avoid having happen, and that was the worst case scenario. So annoying. Yeah, as I said before, like, you're forced to go forward. Like, that's a single tap. You move really far in this game when you tap. I'm still not used to the movement like that. Really unfortunate. Who is it catering? Oh, good. I'm hungry. Come in, come in. Oh, okay, yeah, now we need to make another repair. I've lost too many, I think, at this point. Thanks. We're too busy to take a break. Put it over there. The new chief has us inventing odd things. We're, uh, 
where Manda Mouse Machine is the latest. Checking these parts. The chief says they're an old invention. I wonder if that's true. Handy size Manda Mouse Laser is my assignment. What a stupid idea. Finish it later. Handy size Manda Mouse Laser is my assignment. What a stupid idea. They'll also finish it later. Let's read the book. Learn how to make a million glasses. <laughs> Adventure Friends level 12 and level 13 are here. So the game's expecting me to still be higher level. So I must be level 11 then. So what I'm gonna have to do... Oh, I have a, I have over 1,500 extra in cash. That's good. So if I get bad luck later, we should be fine. So let me address why I'm getting bonus gold. There are bosses in this game that can drop items, and we're coming up to two of them in this playthrough. And depending on how early I get money determines how safe my run is going to be. Because obviously I don't have the cleanest movement through here. So what I would like to do is take safety cash, but I also want to make sure that if we have bad RNG and we get like, let's say 500 gold instead of 3,600 gold, I don't have an absolutely miserable playthrough later, <laughs> just for clarity. So now what we're gonna do... Uh, I think I could just make these, right? I can. So we're gonna make nine punches. We're gonna develop our boss killing weapon. I could have technically done this earlier, but... I actually don't really want to use this at the moment. Before it's ready, but we'll see. I have to be very careful here because it defaults you to the beginning of the menu, not where you selected. So just mashing here is actually really bad. I don't want to do that. I've lost track of how many I've made. Was that four? I hope that was four. If I make an extra, it's not the end of the world. I'll do a I'll do a count check. So I'm gonna assume I'm at five right now. Six. I should have taken note of my uh, money total because I know I'm going to use a certain amount of money guaranteed, given that it's 200 per. We're gonna do a quick count check, just to make sure I don't go over. We're gonna stop on this one to check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's one shot. Okay. So we picked up a scrap four just now, but right before the dungeon, and we picked up a scrap four, I want to say back in the mines. And the reason I want to do this is because if I take one of our scrap fours and I combine it with punch, we create punch level two, or punch rank two, excuse me. But if we also take that scrap four and combine it with punch two, we get punch rank three. So I'm going to take the same thing, and we're going to use the one that I just picked up coming in here. Oh, it, it shuffled because I used items earlier. That's fine. Punch two, this equal to punch. Yeah, punch two, punch harder. Punch three is punch another day. Uh, so now, with all that, we're going to take our punch level three and just rank this up as much as possible. So if you're wondering how important gold is in the playthrough or even just in casual play, it's fairly important if you want to maximize your damage, and we're just going to be using our ultimate boss slayer right here. For literally the rest of the game on every boss, that's how important this item is, by the way, Chad. We're going to be getting another weapon, which is more useful for casual clear. And that will be basically it. So the reason we're making punch, by the way, welcome to parameters. So the reason we're making punch over the other weapon choices, even though punch is not the strongest in terms of physical stats, unlike the other weapons, it is a 25% crit chance. Why is crit chance important in this game? It ignores all resistances and it multiplies your damage. So even if an enemy is normally immune to, let's say, using the run command, since I think I mentioned in the previous stream, run command is resisted differently than the weapons used on the run command. So if you do triple slice with run, it might get through somebody with sword resistance, which is a bit weird to think about, I guess, in some senses. But what we want to do is if we spam crits, it means we have a very high chance of just ignoring all run command resistance and just absolutely deleting a boss. However, this means that we're going to be on the RNG uh, 
free for all. Because that means, technically, I could be doing anywhere between 40 damage and 600. So there's going to be some wild damage differences, chat. So all aboard the RNG train. <laughs> We're full committing. And that's why we have safety repairs. <laughs> right, chat? That's why we do it. So if I need to get more repairs, I could buy them later. I need, I think, 3,000 as my next big purchase. I already almost have that cash. And I haven't even picked up the other things that are normally required for it. So that's another 200 gold that I just acquired. I can also junk a lot of our cures, because I really don't need these. These are basically going to be replaced by smokes. So these basically pay for themselves. I'll, st I'll still keep, like... A couple of cures, but I, I don't need this many. So whatever leftover cash we have here, see already have 3,000. Whatever leftover cash we have here, I think we'll get maybe five more smokes in the shop on the way out, and then buy two more repair kits. Oh, we have six repairs. That's not terrible, actually. I managed to get here without needing anything. Okay, we'll, we'll pay for some money. That works. So fortunately, I didn't use another repair kit there. So we saved ourselves a little bit of cash. It's 450 for the repair kit, and it's much cheaper to revive. So we're still way above our cash total. And I think I'm good. I'm just double checking our stats before we go further. I think that's probably fine. I don't plan on attacking with this. This is just a placeholder. Uh, one thing I want to make sure that we do, actually... I'm going to enter a new ability for Omnislash. We're going to call this... Uh, I'll call this one Flurry. So basically, whenever we're in a boss fight, I want to be using this quadruple... Or not quadruple. I want to be using this triple strike. And then on other encounters, potentially, I want to be using Omnislash. Now, until I switch over to the Fist... I want to continue to use Omnislash. Eventually, we'll be getting rid of our bomb, which will make it so that we can't use Omnislash anymore. But we'll get a weapon to compensate for that, and that's why I'm putting Flurry first here, just for clarity. Just so that it will confuse me for, like, two fights, and then after that, for the rest of the game, it'll make sense to me. But I'd rather just do it here. Being a witch... Can we save any, any time in here? Oh, you can. Oh. I didn't realize we could save in this dungeon. I could have done that earlier to avoid some problems. I would have just assumed being in the volcano base would have been bad. Welcome, Granite Knight. Man, this lion... This lion is really trolling me hard, chat. I really don't want to fight this. Thank you. <laughs> shaking my head when that happens. So now I can see the lasers, so I thought I'd put this on so Chad could see what I've been dodging, or trying to dodge. Wow, the jukes! <laughs> can you stop this? It's fine. They don't appear from all doors, which is kind of nice. I'm just looking where are we going now. So we have this. Oh, okay, now I know where to go. Oh, it was slightly too fast. Slightly too fast. But I at least recovered there, so we're fine. The lasers are actually more annoying to... Okay, that was actually unfair. That was actually unfair. He he was moving and targeting me before I even got a chance to move. That's pretty BS. I don't like that enemy spawn. <laughs> Classic quintet there, right, chat? Classic quintet. Just attack you when you come out of room immediately, that's fair. But anyway, we're gonna now go through the path that we were at earlier. I'm not gonna bother using the chameleon lasers, or chameleon glasses to see them, which is why the screen is red right now. Because, to be honest with you, it's very unforgiving. I'm just gonna go for the buffer strat. And that was still slightly too fast. I think that was four searches, I'm surprised that didn't work. But it might have been my movement there was a bit off. But anyway, we now see the ominous evil door. 
I'm gonna investigate the lab before I touch the other one. So Adventure Grand's 14 and 17. So the game thinks we're like five levels higher than we are, which is fine. We're not gonna need it. It's in red. It's hard to read. I love that. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's take our glasses off. Einstein's diary. X month, X day. Scout at the hackers. This is no factory. More like a cruel joke. X month and X day. I'm impressed. I found an awful thing in the volcano. Some kind of eruption machine. We have to use it. I look. I took it to the lab. X month, X day. Machine was effective in controlling the villagers. Let's use it. X month, X day. Thacker soldiers won't work. So we'll use the Rococo people. Sent out invitations and the idiots came. This will. This is my revenge for making a fool of me. Machine worries you. Check the volcano. Maybe I can find an invention. Hey you, you can't come in the sacred lab without permission. This is what happens to impudent guys like you. Uh-oh, chat. We got hit by the mouse beam. Ha ha ha! This is what happens to those who oppose me. Just talk to him when we're on mouse form. Interestingly, we can still read the book. <laughs> can we reach the book? Oh yeah, we can reach the book from there. So anyway, now that we're a mouse, you might have seen there were a lot of little small gratings along the bottom. They mentioned about the mouse holes earlier when we talked to the mouse. So we can, for example, go out through here if we want to. I don't think I want to, though. I can make him disappear, though. That's my magic trick there. Yeah, we could go that way, but I don't think it leads to anything other than items I don't need. So let's go this way. Vicky a mouse, exactly. I'm not bothering with timing. I'm coming over this way, actually. Earthquake device room. Authorized personnel only. Dr. Einst. So I believe we need to come into here. If I want to see some extra dialogue, I think I take the left route to talk to another mouse. Let's go ahead and do that. Woman was rummaging around in that room. When I peeked in, she screamed and scared me. Poor mouse. Strange machine. Even if I push the switch, it doesn't make a sound. Probably broken. Ah, oh, a mouse. What? Shoo. Don't get over- don't come over here! So I gotta talk to her multiple times to trigger Kotetsu. What are you doing in a place like this? Hmm, what did you say? What about you? You don't belong here? What a spiteful woman. And that mouse. Are you a victim of the chief? You're getting stranger. You're- you're getting strange. Talking to mice. What are you? What a bother. Hey mouse, if you understand human talk, chase this girl away. Wait, don't come over here! No. Oh no, I can't stand it. And then she runs. She bonks into the wall. <laughs> Good job. She's a real tomboy, isn't she? Let's do some business. Here that HQ sends research funds to this lab. But outside, three guards are stationed. You're a mouse. So you could go places that I can't. There. I want you to get that money and give it to me. So funny enough, Chan. You can technically spend the 5,000 you pick up here, but we have so much cash coming into this that it doesn't make sense to do. But if you wanted to, normally you can't use the R&D lab in order to buy items while you're a mouse, but when you level up, you can. So if you really want to, you could convert that 5,000 in cash into random weapons and stuff to sell later and cheat him out of the money. Then I'll help you return to human form. Wait here. I'm the mouse, so I bet you could go all over. I beg you, little mouse. Okay. So, we're gonna have to remember where this room is for two different times later. I'll take the 400 gold since we're here. We need another repair anyway. So I believe... Actually, what's over here? Let's learn together, chat. Uh, 
Just another way into the toilet. Interesting. You can see some of these have grates. I believe our goal is to come over here. So now the mouse is gone from here. Look at this long path that we're taking. Ah, so we can come in here a little early, which is interesting. Just came in to get a bite to eat, then the human came in. Give me something. I think this is the one I want to talk to for later. Nope. One more. I was a soldier too. I cursed the chief for doing this to me. Oh, interesting. The dialogue's not here yet. That's fine. No, the mouse. These things. So if we come here early, nothing happens. But he chases me, which is kind of funny. Uh, so nothing we can do here yet. I was just curious what would happen if we're allowed through here. So a little bit of extra dialogue. There is something I need to get from one of the mice there, but I didn't realize there was a different set of dialogue because I wanted to show on stream how you get something we need later. So let's see, where is our goal? So we went through, went there. Okay, so that, okay. So with that out of the way, we're gonna ignore the stuff along the top. We can get into battles if Chad is curious. I'd prefer not to. So this little mouse hole is not covered by a grate, but it is guarded by two mice. Another newcomer. Lots of strangers around here lately. This is our turf. Get out. No, no, a thousand times no. What? You were human and want to return to human form? Very strange. You're a mouse too. Why would you want to be human? I'll test you out. In the lunchroom. Mouse cleaning is underway. Mice can't get in to get food. Go there and do something to get some food. If you fail, if missing an F there, I won't let you pass. Squeak, squeak, chat. So anyway, we're going to go back to the place I just came from. So the game at least is smart enough to not... Oh, come on. He went up instead of down. I had a 50-50 of getting that right. That's so sad. Please don't kill me. That is so annoying that that happened. I got really, really unlucky. And you might notice, Chad, I can't use items in battle. Because I'm a mouse. So this is very bad for us right now. Let's get out of here. The fact that I got, I got the fit, even actually, if he, it's not even a 50-50. That was a that was a one in four of him going the one way I didn't want him to go. That's actually incredibly unlucky. So I'm definitely gonna have to buy some repairs when we're done with this. But that's why we got extra cash, I guess. So interestingly, I can just walk into the cafeteria. What? This mouse isn't afraid of humans. What nerve. I'll get you. Yeah, poor Smite. I forgot that I made that one change. I made the one mistake that I said I was going to forget. Oh, man, chat. I'm sorry. I got to redo the battle. Oh, that's really unfortunate. It's such a sh I have like one more battle before I don't need to worry about it and I forgot again in the heat of the moment. Let's take a moment to breathe. Do Omni Slash. There we go. We're gonna get we're go we're going to be getting a weapon that hits full screen, just for clarity. Since this mouse saved me, it's possessed. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk to the mice now. Alright, so now we fed the mice. They said we could take our time to eat. Squeak, squeak. And now, this guy should say something different. I accidentally pushed the self-destruct button on the Earthquake device, and now I'm a mouse. Turn the switch right three times and left twice, and it self-destructs. But I don't worry about that now. I'm comfortable being a mouse. There you go, chat. So we learned something for the future. The game doesn't tell us that we need this, but we do need this, by the way. <sighs> Why are they always looking there? 
Yeah, he's like, I'm a mouse. I guess I'll live with it. There we go. That was much better RNG. So anyway, now we're going to get one of the best items in the game. And we're going to be using it for like another two hours at least. What? You did it. You tricked the lunchroom guys. Amazing. Let's eat, Squeak. So let's proceed through here. We're going to be getting three important items. One of them's 5,000 gold. The other's scrap nine. So this is the money that we have to hand back over to Kotetsu. Scrap nine we're going to be using to make some super items later. And sword four. Sword four is incredibly stupidly powerful. I'm just going to do this now. So that way I don't get bothered with stuff later. So the reason why this is unfair is that it will full screen strike enemies. And on top of that... Oh, the guards are still blocking it. That's fine. And on top of that... I can turn my back to the enemy, and it counts as getting a back attack, because the game only checks your facing. So it's basically like free super damage. So at this point, I should be able to one-shot basically everything, even if it has resistance. As you can imagine, it's extremely unfair. Anyway, I think we gotta go back to the bathroom. Because of course... <laughs> he went down again. This is fine, though. He still went first, even though I was with him. Please go for it. Okay, thank you. That was scary. Yeah, we're gonna do this. Yeah, by the way, did you see we did 491 damage compared to 91 earlier? Yeah, that weapon is so godlike. Why are they all spotting me from insane distances? Please stop. There we go. There we go. As I said before, I'd really prefer not to get into more encounters if we can avoid it. There we go. Because they don't usually drop... I mean, if they drop items, it's good. But if they don't drop items, then it's a waste of time, because we're going to be getting better XP later anyway. I love how that mouse hole is there, but we don't need it to open the door to get here. Feels a little unnecessary. Um, let me let me try to go for the buffer again. That was slightly too early. I only got two. I hit the button four times, but I only got two searches. That's fine though. We can just maneuver around them. Now we can use this to get through. Uh, I guess I should talk to you. Didn't realize there was a mouse in here. Can you do a mouse too? Someday this factory will be full of mice. The manager of the earthquake device must be a mouse too. Where'd he go? That's like your only hint to go find the other mouse, by the way. I don't think the game otherwise really mentions it. But we already did that. So technically could be sequence breaking, question mark. Oh wait, this is not where I need to go? Uh, I thought I had to go into the lab. One second. Got the money, return to bathroom, go to go to lab. Oh, 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 oh. I wrote that wrong in my notes. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, I don't need to do anything in here. I could just go this way. I should have been more clear what I meant by evil lab. I think I meant this room. Potenza says, you did it. Let me, let me correct that for in case I have to redo that. It should be machine. Return to machine, not the lab. You did it. Little mouse, hand over that loot. Katetsu has taken the 5,000 gold. Remember your promise. Remember the secret lab. It's where you became a mouse. Wait for me there. Now we have to go back. <laughs> there we go. Slightly out of order. That's fine. Uh, let's go for the buffer strat again. Or 
Or get literally none of the inputs I put, that's fine. <laughs> so I guess while running, sometimes it doesn't take it. Like, you can, you, you can hear me hitting it, right? Yeah, so it's not me. I guess it's be I guess while you're in the middle of a step, it doesn't take it. Okay, I feel less bad about that. I thought it was like, you know, maybe I was just misinputting, but no, no, while you're moving, you can't interrupt it with search, and it doesn't remember that you hit the button. That's kind of mean. So I have to consciously let go and then make sure he pauses. Oh, you've come. We'll use this machine to make you human again, okay? Hmm. Are you Mickey? You look a little green. Why did you come back? What? To stop the earthquake. Idiot, the quake machine can be stopped. The director and the head soldier know how. Head soldiers are turned to mice. Don't tell anyone. I'm going now. If that tomboy comes back. Don't let her bug you. Well, don't make a mess of it. Okay, I guess he then officially tells you. But we're already not. We, we could skip that whole journey back to the cafeteria. So we're going to go back to the room that we just came from, which is kind of annoying. Kind of annoying that we're literally just walking back to this room. I kid you not. We were just here. One, two, three... One, two. I like how it looks like a frumpy face. Mickey, you're still here? The others from Rococo have fled. It's dangerous to be here. Quick, run! So yeah, we're, we're gonna get some safety revives before we continue with the plot. Wow, a narrow escape. If we'd waited any longer. There's something I want to check out. I'm going into the forest. Okay, don't get lost. So now we just gotta exit here. If I take extra fights here, it doesn't matter. As long as they don't go first, I don't care. Went first, now I care. Oh, that's fine. Oh, no, that's not fine. You hit full screen. No longer fine. Ooh, I'm getting atrocious. Uh, you've got to be kidding me. I hit right too early, and then I immediately got ambushed. That really sucks. This enemy I knew about, I didn't realize he had the ability to uh, attack me from that far. So anyway, we just need to get out of here at this point. Oh, the spider was right there. So I believe the exit was... Oh, there's an item over here. Guarded by Power Mole, of course. For our curiosity, what was this item? I can't escape. That's not good. I mean, they don't do a lot of damage, which is good. So fortunately hit me doing his job right now. 500 gold, so I get a repair back. I, I, I wasn't sure if it was uh, a random item or gold, because I don't have the map up in front of me at the moment, but I had a feeling it was something good. I would just like to state, this is atrocious spider patterns. This is like actually heinous. What is going on? Can I reset them? Like, this is not navigatable. Thank you. <laughs> oh, wait, that's not the way. I might need to pop up the map again. Oh, we don't go through. Oh, that's right. We go through, through the rope to escape. For some reason, I was thinking we had to go downwards. Never mind, that's easier. Ooh, there's attack. There's monsters here now. Hmm, maybe I should have gone the other way to follow the other route a bit more closely. That is really unfortunate because this wastes a lot of time. On the flip side, if I had gone through and taken the same path as before, I would have had to have dealt with a couple of annoying enemies that would potentially kill me almost instantly. So there are enemies that can only be seen with the chameleon glasses, and if I bump into them, it's basically GG. They do insane amounts of damage, and they are not worth fighting. So sadly, because I took a couple fights here, I don't think it's going to be faster to go this way. Please escape, thank you. So we save money by just escaping. I have cures if I really need it. So let's go back to the town. Let's get a couple repairs. 
I need repairs specifically for the upcoming boss, just for clarity. Squeak, squeak, says the mouse. So I think I can put relay on to get more dialogue. Tell me, you strange like to turn us into mice. It's gonna ask the elder where the deity is. He's a bad man. If he finds out where the deity is, use the deity, save the elder. What? It's been a great tour, especially when the factory blew up. Oh, you're back. We're returning to the village. We've had enough of this tour. What? You saved us. What happened to the girl? Oh, she went to look for someone. Now that I'm a mouse, I can't cook. I'm out of a job. What can I do? Oh, you should have seen Ratatouille. He still would work. This is terrible. The shaman says it's the curse of the deity. Everyone's been turned into mice. Does that include the shopkeeper? It does not. Alright, so we are going to get two extra repairs. So that should put us about where we should have been. And since I'm here, I could get one more smoke bomb. Hmm. Don't like my repair count. Do I save money by just going back and leveling is the question I'm asking myself. Hmm. Repairs are really expensive. That is unfortunate. I'm glad we got the extra 500 though. It kind of made up for it. So I think my two safety golds worked because I think I spent almost where we need to be. And I can sell some random item to hit 3000. So I think I'm still fine. I think I'm still fine. And we got another smoke, which I need for later. Uh, Let's make a save because we haven't saved in a while. Uh, is she going to give us any interesting hints? I'm just curious. They're enemies whose forms you can't see. Yeah, don't worry. We, <laughs> we skipped that BS earlier. Anyway, let's put the relay back on and continue talking with them. Mice can't dance, chat. There we go. That's what they're really upset about. What will I do now that they're mice? He doesn't listen to the deity, so the deity talks to me. That's why I turned the villagers into mice. You better listen. Tell me where the treasure is. The deity wouldn't do that. It's my job to guard the treasure. I can't hand it over. You're stubborn as usual. It's the deity's magic. Anyone who doesn't listen to the deity is turned into a mouse. Watch. That's how everyone became mice. And now you. Huh? You're intruding again. The shaman is angry. He'll turn you into a mouse. It's the deity's curse. The dino can still dance. Well, by all question marks. Oops. Why have I become a mouse? Change me back! Change me back! The deity's curse is on you! Squeak, squeak. You saved the village. You are the messenger. The elder said so. You saved the village. You are the messenger. The legend has been in the elder's family for ages. The deity's messenger has come. Take him to the shrine where the treasure is. The treasure is his. These two who serve the elder can open a path to the shrine. Those two will take you to the shrine. Please go with them and accept the treasure. Let's talk to everybody else before we do that. Your messenger of the deity. This is the praise dance. There we go, chat. We're going to get them doing the praise dance just for you. The village legend says a messenger will come to save the village and earn the treasure. You're the town hero. I'll make food for you. Today, fried alligator. It's famous in Aku... Agi Kubo? The deity is happy. We're all happy. Everyone's grateful to you. There you go, more praise dance. So we're gonna save, now that we've done this again. So, I'm now the right level for where we need to be, so I don't need to take any extra encounters for a little bit. I probably want to do... Smoke, just in case. And let's talk to this guy to advance the plot. We know a secret dance that opens the road to the shrine. Come with us and we'll dance it for you. We dedicate this dance to the deity. An ancient traditional dance. The road to the deity is open. His messenger could go on. Our job is finished. 
So chat, we're going to be abusing a little bit of death abuse here, and this is why I needed some repairs, by the way. Hopefully we don't need more than what I have here, as we did squander a few. Ah, long last, you've made progress. Tough, wasn't it? Oh yeah, it's called in the inventor's egg. Well, you're looking for a fabulous ancient invention. How could a youngster like you find it? Give up. I'll study the scientific power and brush up on my great inventing skill. Nobody bother me. Got it? Now get out, you're bothering me. Oh, he shoved us out of the way. So, the downside to this upcoming boss, just to explain it briefly, the boss has resistance to run and can block, which is a horrible, horrible combination for us, and we do not want to deal with that. I'm going to concentrate very briefly here. Do I want this item? I think I do. Just to sell it. We only needed like 20 gold, so that should be fine. I'm gonna... I could kill the slime on the way out here. I know there's a slime near the door. I know you're trying to trick me, game. It's fine. We knew it was there. I Omni Slashed because I forgot if I had the sword or the punch equipped for a moment. Drop an item that's useful. Clean is not that useful. Alright, so here, here is what we call BS chat. Would you have guessed that this will happen? So we're gonna search. Found a thousand gold. And you're like, okay, I, I could kind of see that. What's unfair about that? Hammer 2's right above it. <laughs> this game is such a troll. Like, come on chat. Like, maybe you would have found one, but both? I don't know. At, like, why would- why? <laughs> well, anyway, the reason we're picking this up is this hammer is worth about 3,000 gold. So this will solve some of our money problems to pay for an item we need very literally. Not in this dungeon, but the next dungeon. So, well, I guess technically two dungeons from now. Technically, but whatever. Uh, so anyway, we need this. That'll save us a lot of time. We can't avoid this encounter, by the way. It's a great enemy placement, chat. I'm gonna turn my back just because and just shame and just get angry and stomp him out of existence here. Okay, we didn't level, which is good because I don't want to level. Got another clean. I could sell that for extra cash. That'll be basically free smoke bombs for us. Okay, so now that I'm here, I think I flipped the switch back. Unless I misunderstood something. Or if nothing else, I want to see what's on the wall over there. Message to those who come here. The far road is closer. Find the road you trust. Oh, 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 okay. So that's a hint for what door to take. I think we take the far right door. I didn't write this in my notes, but it's not like it takes a lot of time to guess. It's gonna take this door. Alright, so I gotta be really careful here. Can I save while I'm in here? We're right before the boss. Can't save here. Okay. <laughs> right, chat? Like, okay. I would have liked that, but whatever. So I'm gonna make... I'm gonna make Hit Me go first. I'm gonna heal Hit Me. So I have more time with the boss. We're going to... It's gonna look weird. I know it won't make a lot of sense. I'm going to double equip our items here. Excuse me. The reason I want to get rid of the shield is because I want to make sure that we do die, which is a weird statement. So the idea behind what we're about to do is I will be playing as hit me. I will take two lasers to the face. Then I will go forward, swap, hit them with my o Omega Punch, repeat. And every time I don't crit, I die. I have six chances in order to do this. I would have loved to have had been able to save here to save us some time in case something goes wrong. But unfortunately, that is not the case. A simple device. I've been waiting for you. I don't have much energy left. I wonder if I can wait until you appear. But I still have much to do. I await your call. 
I don't know how Dr. Einst got ahead of us here, to be honest with you. But anyway, we're now at the boss door. So I'm just double checking I did everything correctly. I will be, for the first time ever, starting with Hit Me. Hit Me is MVP of this boss. It would not be possible without Hit Me here. We have five of everything, which is kind of funny. I could sell a couple of cleans for more smoke bombs or pay towards a repair. But with that strategy, we should hopefully hit about level 14. And that will set us up for Hit Me actually becoming the MVP of another boss fight. So you go, chat. Hit Me gets the time to shine. I've never seen this metal before, and the stone in the chest. It's the source of the energy. Ah, but... but this robot, how can it be moved? I want to see it move. Yeah, hit me, gonna be MVP here. Oh, you again. All you do is bother me. I just can't stand it. My super ultra machine, Big Eye, will take care of you. Prepare for the worst. So this fight is actually somewhat hard if we're not doing death abuse. So we're gonna go down here and guard. And then I believe I don't move. I believe I just guard again. Ooh, I didn't- I don't think I did that right. Ooh, I didn't do that right. Uh, we'll go over here. We'll reset it, we'll reset it. Well, actually it doesn't matter. I guess it doesn't matter if we get a back attack. Alright, let, let me go further and see if I could get this to work. I think what I need to do, actually, is come over here. Maybe that's why it's not working. There we go. That's what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Okay. We fixed it on the fly. We're good. Oh. I didn't realize I would get delayed there. Oh no, Chad. I forgot about the gimmicks of this boss. Okay, so I need to... Repair. He's gonna go to the other side. I need to time it so that he flies by me. I'm gonna guard one more time. So now he should. S uh. I think this will work? No. I forgot how to do the boss chat. Oops. I think I gotta redo this. I want a back attack, but it's. It's like, oh, I got the timing slightly wrong. I'm gonna have to see what I did wrong in a moment. So this is right. I need to get him to fly. But I think I need... Oh, okay, now the timing is right. Now we're good. Now he should fly, guaranteed. I don't know how I got him desynced. Maybe I wasn't mashing hard enough or something. Yeah, this is what I wanted before. And we're gonna flurry punch him. So he blocked twice, but we did get a crit, which is fine. So we're going to revive again. I got a couple more chances for this. Alright, now I'm going to swap again. Oh, uh, well... I'm still going to go for it. Oh, we crit? GG. Okay, there we go. That's fine. We had- we didn't get the back attack that I wanted, but I think it was better to show you how BS crits are in that game. Did you see we did 250 and then 700? <laughs> Do you see what I mean, chat? This weapon is dumb. We hit level 14. Good, I'm the level I wanted to be at. I'm rolling my eyes on that one, chat. Anyway, uh, let's fix our robot stats. So we gained a million levels. So keep in mind, chat, we're like probably about five or six levels under where we should be at this point. So level 14 is where we should have been at the end of the other dungeon, just for clarity. So now I'm going to set up Hit Me. We're not going to bother healing Hit Me for the most part. To be our next boss killer. So in order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and put power into Hit Me and slowly raise Hit Me's speed. So our goal is to raise Hit Me's speed one more time on another level up. And Hit Me will have to be the MVP yet again. So thank you, Hit Me. You were you were definitely the only reason we got through that boss battle. 
So we got really good crits. I just messed up the manipulation a little bit. So the ideal thing is that if you button press fast enough, he's going to double laser, then he goes towards you. But you need to be in the right position that he turns his back to you, so he's facing to the right rather than to the left to increase your damage. Or if you just get lucky and crit, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so we got lucky and crit the one time we didn't get the back attack, and that killed him instantly. But if he had been back attacked, I think he could have taken 999 and died, maybe? Maybe, or close to that much. We hit basically max possible damage on the front attack. But uh, damage from behind gets a bonus, so... Uh, is there anything else I want to do? I could heal hit me for three. Why not? Uh, do I want to junk anything? Probably some of these cleans. Oh, they recycle for 50? I could technically combine clean and smoke to make big bomb and sell it for more money, but I really don't want to. Okay. So we're going to sell a couple of these so I can get more smoke bombs. I don't think I really need them for the rest of the run. So those are just straight up just free cash. Well, I also don't really need this many cures. I'll get rid of one cure for another smoke bomb or two. Okay, so I think we're good. I don't need anything from this. So the only thing we're really going to be doing for the end of the game is crafting uh, a backpack called the shield pack to increase our tankiness and boots. Otherwise, I don't really want to make more weapons. I think we should be good. So yeah, a little, little, little bit unfamiliarity with the boss, but I think we corrected it. So th as I said before, it's probably just some combination of button mashing or like being a little bit off positionally. But we managed to get through it, so I that's all I care about. We got through it. <laughs> that's all I care about. Normally, as I said before, the game expects you to be like level 17 plus. We would have potentially like 40 points in guards so we don't die instantly. But uh, obviously, we don't have that many stats. What? What is this? My robot and a baby robot, and he he lost. But this is not the end of it. I'll pay you back double. Remember that. Ready? You can't escape from here. I mean, look like I could. Dot 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 dot. Mickey, is that you? It's me, Napoleon. Oh, you don't know me yet. Ooh, interesting phrase. And those stones. Tetron gathering. Hmm, good. I found the Tetron here. I've kept it for you all this time. Mickey, take it. Mickey receives stone three. No way. It's going to collapse soon. We've got to get out of here. Mickey, this way. Uh, before we do that, let's make sure we make smite first and hit me second again. Oh no, we can't go out this way. Let's find another route. I mean, you saw, I could have just left. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he would have stopped me. I'll have to break down this wall. Stand back. I did it. Let's... let's go. I... I'll have to break this one down too. S -s Stand back. G got... got it. Let... let's go. Oh, that movement through the rough terrain. This one too. St Stand back. Remember with your face to break it down. Good job, says Chris. It's... it's no good. I'm... worn out. Running out of time. Soon I'll just be... scrap metal. Save the pieces. I'll protect you. One more thing to ask. Please carry out Rask's will. That's one way to... You receive scrap A. That's quite a way to open a wall. Self-destruct, blow up the wall. Well, we got saved. Rip Napoleon. Um... Can I finally save again? Again. <laughs> Let's pick a safety save. 
Uh, so... I guess the question is, how much do I really want to level between now and the next place? I need to level by the end of the next dungeon. To 15. I think my XP's good. So I need potentially six encounters for that to happen. It's not terrible. I think I could take like three fights or so, and it would probably be okay. Oh yeah, speaking of which, let's go fix our equipment. So we're gonna put... You know what, we'll put Axe 2 on you, just because. I'm gonna put Shield 2 here. We're gonna unequip our Super Punch. I believe Hitme should just have the Super Punch now, so I don't forget about it. So just in case I forget about it, chat, Hitme will have Super Punch. And then I think the sword should hard carry us. So there's a couple enemies I can safely kill. My goal is to go to the bottom left and exit through the other way. And because I want to be very careful, I'm going to put on the glasses here. I think I'm going to kill this guy. Hit me at your peril. Remember kids, walls kill brain cells, something like that. Look how unfair this weapon is, chat. What a godlike weapon. From hit me to hit you, exactly. I like that. No items. So we're gonna go to the bottom left exit. Yeah, this weapon is overpowered. Oh, by the way, chat. You ready for this nonsense? If I look this way, it does increase damage. <laughs> Look at 500 damage. <laughs> yeah, that's why we don't... This is why we go full power build. Here we go. The Reckoning is here, chat. Tell him to get out of here. So if we do happen to get an encounter with the birds, which we haven't seen in here, we should be fine. Actually, I think this one might have the bird encounter. Let's show them off. We haven't seen those, I guess. Oh, we didn't get it from him. Oh, well. Then perish. I could single swipe here, it would be faster, but I feel like just killing them out of anger, to be honest with you. So they're worth 1.4 experience, and obviously I one-shot them. Found 250 gold, that's actually really good, I'm happy that happened. I don't want to get side attacked here. We'll take it slow to purposely take encounters that we want. If I level here, it doesn't super matter, it just saves me level time later. It's technically better to wait one more dungeon to level, but we're on our way out, so it's not like I'm backtracking. So we shouldn't level as long as I don't do too many more. <sighs> this area scares me. Still don't want to deal with the spiders, to be honest with you. Okay, here's where it gets tricky. Remember how I said there's hidden enemies? Ooh, he almost touched me. No, 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 no. We don't want to fight them. They're very powerful. Those are there for if you're power leveling and you're looking for a challenge, if you're wondering why they're there. This is Dr. Reince, the great inventor. I'm not in right now. Leave a message after the beep. Beep! So anyway, I think I could turn off the chameleon glasses. Save the game. So that's one major dungeon down. We still have a bit more to go today. I would like to actually do two potential dungeons. But we might take a small break in between. Welcome back. The Elder is waiting for you. Go quickly. Um... I think I'll take a couple safety repairs here. As I said before, I think I only need about 3,500. And I have spare items, and I'm probably going to get some spares just in case. All bonus money will go to repairs anyway. It's just whatever I feel I need it, I'll go check there. So I'd rather have four repairs than just be on two and potentially reset. You found the treasure. You found the greatest name in the village. The name of Bye Bye. Or Baby? Maybe it's Baby? Bebe? Bye Bye? Bye Bye? That lying shaman is headed for the ocean. A man at the inn says he saw them. But now the village is safe, and it's all thanks to you. Goodbye. Yeah, bye bye. I'm supposed to hello, hello. Guy at the end saw a strange man running to the bay. Goodbye, bye bye.
Oh, we could sleep as much as we want. That's fair. So yeah, we've been picking up bonus gold throughout the game. And it's good, because I don't expect to do as well as, like, the speedrunners. So I'm happy we put in some safety stuff for sure. Oh. Uh, who did I not talk to? I thought I just had to talk to him. Who did he say to go to? Because he said man at the inn. Question mark. Unless he means this guy. Okay, so, okay, I think we didn't talk to this guy. So he said he saw him go to the volcano, then he rode a strange boat out of the bay. Okay, so he escaped via boat. And I think with that dialogue, we'll open up this area. There we go. I wanted to go to the inlet. So we're going to go get a very useful item. We got change. So that lets us become a mouse at will. I would have thought going in the lab with the man to mouse, we would have had inspiration to convert ourselves back. But no, it's just in a capsule for some reason. The reason why this is important for us is that until we get something known as vanish, if we go through rough terrain or things like water, we move slower. But if we are a mouse, we don't move slower. So we could use that to save some time. Nagisa says, Mickey, you hear that? Something's happened. Go back to Rococo as soon as you can. Quickly. Wait, something happened in Rococo? Hmm, I smell a rat. I'm worried about Dr. Eintz, but first things first. I've got to go. We got change for a 20. Welcome, Dango. So now we gotta go home. Into the boat we go, chat. Happy overworld music. Probably the longest we'll hear it in the game as we take these boat rides. Normally, we're pretty qu pretty quick on the overworld. Okay, so... Uh, I'm gonna preemptively equip this, because I'm gonna mess with the game a little bit. So anyway, it could just be a mouse. What does he say if we talk to this guy as a mouse? Oh, a mouse. I used to make the lady squeak squeak myself. <laughs> wow, I was not expecting that dialogue. <laughs> You got me. You got me, game. <laughs> that felt inappropriate. Developers slipped that one in real quick. Yeah, dot dot dot. Oh, a mouse, wait. Now we're being chased. Oh, mouse, wait. <laughs> oh, mouse, wait. Oh. Mice are cute. He just says, hey, mice are cute. There you go. We got the whole squad. Hold on, I think we can get one more. Wolf. There we go, we got the squad. Hey, mouse, do you want to fight with me? <laughs> wow. Bow wow, says the dog. Hey, a mouse. Even a mouse gets the same punishment if you're bad. <laughs> wow, police officer is not messing around. He's going to put the handcuffs on the mouse, chat. <laughs> You're going to mousy prison, aka a cage. Uh, let's see if we can read the bulletin board. Hello, I'm Mint. Why exactly have so many... Oh, they didn't update the story? Oh, we read this one already. Just trying to show off if anything new happened here. Um, I guess I can unequip this briefly. Alright, so they don't have any new dialogue. Uh, I'm gonna preemptively wear this then. Nothing in our mailbox. Get out of the way. Oh, good. Mickey, listen. What are you going to do, Mickey? No matter what, blood is thicker than water. There were three jewels, jewels stolen, and the mayor says you did it. You're under arrest. Well, chat, if you have, get arrested in a JRPG on your bingo sheet. Please feel free to stamp that now. Taking the mayor's things was really stupid. Well, I'll return these to him. Mickey has lost stone one. Mickey has lost stone two. Mickey has lost stone three. 
Mary will decide what will happen to you. Until then, stay there and calm down. Anyway, I'm gonna use the surprise horn to turn into a mouse. Not here. What happened? The mayor will be mad. I'll cut my pay. You just say mice are cute. Do we see something new now that the other guy lost? Oh, can I not talk to him? Impossible? Impossible. This fellow is strange after committing several crimes. He ended up as a rat in the cage. Exactly. So, now that we've had our great escape. It's kind of easy, to be honest with you. Uh, let's just go ahead and talk to Nikisa. Oh, hello, Carl. Oh, you've come back. My mother told me something awful happened to you. Said the mayor took something from you. Aren't you angry? Just go get it. I know a secret way to the mayor's house. A room below the police station. It leads there. It's not just for you. The mayor causes my mother a lot of trouble. I'm gonna get him. Mm. I'll wait for you in the room. Come on. The room is south of the police station. See ya. Let's ask what... Oh. Some enemies aren't affected by some weapons or attacks. Try all kinds of weapons. Yeah, yeah. You know what we're gonna try, chat? We're gonna try Sword 4 everything into oblivion. So here's a really good place for XP for people looking to grind. There's some really hard to kill enemies that require you to basically be very fast and have really strong powered up weapons like axe at max level, for example. Um, we can't kill those, but the other enemies are also still really good for XP. So yeah. Also chat, I'm gonna go ahead and pop up the map for this place because this place can also get a little confusing. So just give me one moment. I want to make sure we don't detour too much, since obviously going the wrong way could equal death. I would like to not die. So there are several items that I need in the sewers. Spoilers, it's the sewers. Um, and in there are a lot of bad items, so I need to make sure to avoid some of these. Oh, actually... Oh, interesting. You know what, we'll take a detour to showcase something that's in the game. For those wondering about uh, if there's any missables in the game. Generally, there's not many. I want to say if you leave a certain time period of the game, I guess the best way to frame it. Uh, I think there are side quests that are locked out to you, but a lot of items, if you happen to miss them, because some of the areas you can't revisit, uh, do show up in a very specific place. So I'm going to go ahead and mouse myself, I guess. Hey, Mouse, what a goofy face. There we go. Goofy face. The door is shut. It was open before. It's pretty old. Both push it. It'll probably open. Okay, push. Uh. There we go. I'll stand guard here. You go in. Go get him. Wow, he just left us to our own devices in here. So normally I would want to go to the left to get through here. But there's actually a little bonus area that I'd like you to go to first. So we're going to avoid Shelly here. Squeak, squeak. I'm the only mouse doing business around here. I sell junk, squeak. What do you want? Disinformation, just looking, I came to buy. We'll say we came to buy. So, if you happen to miss any of the scraps from earlier in the game, you could pay a lot of money to get them. So, I mean, they, they thought about that, at least. It's kind of nice of them. I don't plan on using this. Just wanted to showcase it was here. But, uh, yeah. Uh, so we need to go down here, because up there is a dead end. We need to be very careful with our movement in here, because there's a lot of annoying enemies I'd prefer not to fight. Like the starfish. The starfish is the thing that scares me. I'm pausing just to make sure I'm going the right way. Go up here. Go through the door. Avoid you if I can. Oh, I should have been against the top wall. This could be very bad. This could be super bad. Yeah, that's what I wanted to avoid. Hmm. 
it's almost worth resetting, to be honest with you. We didn't get very far in here. I'll think about it. I need to be revived there. Yeah, that enemy is big, 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 big problems for us. So, it's not worth going down right and then up. We passed by a door technically earlier, because that's just a cure. I don't want that. I think I want to go in here. And in this room is money. So I'm just going to go to the next map so I can take a look. Okay. So we need this for later. So if I didn't have 3,000 or so, this is where I would do it. I'm already a mouse, so I don't need to swap into this. Um, I think right is the correct way. <laughs> kind of a ridiculous maze. Okay. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to save here as a safety precaution. If we lose another repair, I'm just going to reset. We're going to reset the room by coming in here and leaving. Ooh. Ooh, that was good movement. Okay, we don't want to fight this guy. He doesn't kill us, he just doesn't do anything of interest. If he doesn't cooperate, I'll fight him in guard. Okay. Oh, he, I thought he was going to go up again. This should still be fine. So we got XP just for ending the battle there, which is kind of funny. Oh, you actually drop items when you run? Oh, a single gold piece. That makes sense. Um, you're in my way. I think I'm just going to kill you. Let's not overthink it. We just got to get through the dungeon. You know what? This isn't needed, but I'm going to back attack him out of annoyance. Look at that damage. Goodbye. So we need to level eventually in this dungeon. Got a cure, not really worth it. If it was a repair, that would have been amazing because I need more of those. Um, if I happen to get into a fight with these, I don't think it's the end of the world. As long as I go first and it's not a starfish, then it doesn't matter. All right, so we could kill them with just a normal strike there to save some time. I'm going to hold up and hopefully I could go through. Ooh, there we go. Avoided one unnecessary encounter. Really prefer to take this. Got the key. So now I could go back the way I came. I want him to go away from me, please. Seriously? Seriously? What an absolute troll. Okay, I'm gonna do this. There we go. <laughs> just like, he just wouldn't leave me alone. We have to find him, he's in the way, I don't care. So, if we level before we get to a certain room, it's fine. I think I'm slightly above XP. If I level here, I'm definitely above XP. Okay, I didn't even level there. That's good. Um... I don't think I lined up with him properly there. That's kind of unfortunate. I hope he doesn't go first. He didn't. Good. Yeah, they're worth one experience. They die instantly. I'm not going to wait for the item. Uh, It's weird that it attacked me with its back facing me. I don't know if I like that. Let's just get free XP. If that leveled me, that would have been hilarious, to be honest with you. Okay, so our goal is to go through this door. Hmm. Look at the next area. So at some point I need to level. Do I want to fight one of these? Might be a... Why didn't I engage the battle when I touched him? That's so unfair. If this kills me, I'm going to be very annoyed. Okay. Good. Goodbye, octopus with the pot. Yeah, you're worth 1.5, which is really good. Uh, let's save. Do 
go ahead and equip the key. Ooh, that was horrendous enemy movement. Wow. There we go. Better. Use the key. Let's get out of here. So, let's pause very briefly. As I said before, there are a lot of twists in here. I'd really prefer not to go the wrong way. So we could go to the right here. That leads to scrap two, which I don't need. So I'm going to be doing a lot of awkward zigzagging, and you'll understand why I'm looking ahead for so far. And I need to get to a very specific plot item. Okay, there we go. I got the route in mind then. Ooh. We're gonna go through here. And ignore that guy. This is the Reaper's power. I'll take the octopus fight. As long as it's not starfish, there should be good XP. Single octopus, not the best. But we have to be very close to leveling because I took extra fights leading here. Speaking of which. Okay. So we're we're pretty much on par then. So this is where I could have repaired ourselves, potentially. What I can do is recycle... And another cure, I think. Uh, so let's speed up a little bit. This will make it so that we don't get destroyed by certain enemies. So having higher speed, again, 100% accuracy, slightly improves our own evasion. I just want to make sure I never miss. So that makes some fights a little safer going forward. But Robot 2, he needs his uh, speed as high as possible here. So this will make sure that he can always hit the boss. Which is fine. That's what we needed to do. <laughs> so that's a lot of potential accuracy for us. And now we just need to exit the sewers. Ooh, 240 gold. Okay, that's not too bad. The way is blocked by fallen rocks. Yeah, this one's kind of rude. If we go to the left side, it just makes us go through this really, really long roundabout way. And then the game is like, tee you needed a key from this other area, which is so rude. So let's not waste time. Let's just try going to the actual location. Um, I mean, if I have to take a fight here, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, single octopus is barely XP. I think you could get away with just a single strike while looking backwards. Although it only did 150, maybe not. Another 250 gold. Okay, that's another repair. So we got a repair back. So yeah, we would have gotten all this way. And then just been ultra trolled. So I could drill up there, but I don't think I need to do that to complete the dungeons, so I don't think I will. <laughs> I'm just looking to see where I should go. I think I just gotta go back go the long way. If I go up through here, I get something called an empty pack, which can be used to create new items. I don't really care about that in our run, so I'm gonna go ahead and ignore that. So if you want the empty pack in order to make shield packs a little sooner, you could do this here. I'm going to go ahead and equip the key now, in case we're in like a bad dash. Actually, you know what? I'll save first. Do safety save. And we're going to go ahead and continue onwards with our key. Ooh! <laughs> that could have been really bad. Oh, that also could have been really bad. So yeah, you'll understand why I keep conferring to or keep looking at the map because the path here is so awkward. I just wanted to move one step. Okay, that's fine. I'll kill you because you're not worth a lot of XP. I do need to make sure I don't hit level uh, 18 too early. So if I have like one or two extra fights, it's not too bad. But I'd really prefer not to get many more if I could avoid it. Ooh... Ooh, oh, almost got through. Needed one more left and then down. Please don't kill my character. Miss. Can I smoke bomb and leave? 
Ooh, I could get through the stop. Nice. Good recovery. We got through. Uh, question mark. Hold on. So I went through here. There is an axe that I don't need and is really far out of the way. I think I just need to go up and up. We should be fine here. This is the up I was talking about. Oh, come on. <laughs> Man, I hate the character having extra movement. That's like the only thing I don't like about the movement in this game. You like when you tap it, you go really far. Like that's just a tap. You move a whole tile. Got a single gold. Okay, so now that we have the key equipped, I should be able to just use it and then we could get out of here. So I just need to avoid one or two more fights. And we're almost done with the dungeon. Is he really going to float there forever? He trolling? Oh, I really see he could take the path there. Ooh, there we go. Avoided that XP. So, we got through it, chat. The, the hard part of that is over. I had one unnecessary death, but we're, we're making it through. We did get extra money from the octopus, so we're still basically where we need to be. So as I said before, I'm not really worried. I'm scrolling down. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't need 3k. Let me correct myself. I needed 5k. And I haven't even sold the hammer yet. So as you can hear, 5k plus... I think the hammer gives 3,000. I'm about... I'm about... Yeah, I'm about 3,000 over currently, so the rest can be 10 repairs, for example. So we can see we can now enter the room that was previously blocked. I'm just curious if coming here early changes anything. So we can see the people that were in front of this door before are also now in here. Like how they just all say mice are cute. Some guys called hackers came in and took over the mayor's house. What happened to the mayor? We can't get out because of the hacker guards. What should we do? Hey kid, there are guards out there. It's dangerous to go out there. I told you to behave yourself. We may not look tough, but when we get mad... Grr, now I'm mad. You're an awful kid. I'll punish you. And I don't care if you cry. There we go. I got confused by the punctuation there. So I think I want to do this because this will open up a shortcut so I don't have to take the mouse pull anymore. Just kill you real quick. Don't mind me. To murder him. There's another door here, but it's locked. There's the fireplace, but I don't think we could do anything with it yet, even though I know there is something we could do here later. So our destination is to get into this door. Which we should be able to do with the change. Oops. Mickey, get out of here. The new mayor's a fake. Whoa, she's such a fake. She stole three stones from me, then locked me in here. There's one good thing. She took two of them, but I hid one in a place she'll never find. It's totally not the fireplace. Don't look there. If you get me out of here, I'll give you the stone. Please, I must expose the mayor for what he is. So sadly, we can't just leave the mayor in here forever. Oh, we can't go out that way because it's locked. So anyway, what we're going to do... Transform into a mouse... Go back. I want to find where that other guard is to save myself some time later. But I don't have a map of the mayor's house open. Just want to see if it's like over here somewhere. Do a quick little detour. Oh yeah, never check the shelves.
Curiosity. Did I miss a passageway? Let's learn together. Saw this. Ah, uh, yeah, I did. Hi. Right, let's go clean this up now, then. What? You beat the other guard. I can't ignore that. I'll punish you. So I think we had to kill the other guard for this fight to happen, just for clarity. Because he wants to get revenge. Getting a little tiny bit of XP here, but it doesn't super matter. Now he's dead. We've killed the guard. So now we could just easily come in and out of this room. In fact, they left already. Otherwise, we have to take the long way through and go through the mouse hole. Let's try leaving. <laughs> Vint, please. What? The guy in the mayor's office is a fake. Hmm. Just as I suspected. I'll investigate him further and then I'll expose him. He won't give himself away. I can't tell him from the real mayor. Oh, Mickey. Shouldn't come here. People are still suspicious of you. But since you're arrested, he's been odd. He works so hard. He's like a different person. <laughs> I like that he's actually doing his job and that makes them suspicious. That's actually funny. Social commentary there, chat. What happens if I talk to him before we do certain things? Let's see if we get extra dialogue here. Oh, it's you. Stone? What stone? Listen, I'm busy. If you have business, come again. So, chat, you might remember a long time ago, we messed with him by bringing a dog in here. So we're going to do that to actually unearth him. The dog following us is an actual plot point if you had fallen for the kid tricking you before. But before we do that, we need to probably go back to father's house. So we are not ready for this boss battle. This boss is actually somewhat difficult, especially for our level. So we need to make sure we check out all the books. I'm trying to remember, which one was 15? Was it you? No, was it you? Yes. Now we learn how to make shield pack. There we go, that's what I wanted. So we're gonna use the father's R&D lab in order to spend our 5K to make a shield pack. This will give us a chance of blocking, even if we don't have a shield equipped. And more importantly, it improves our overall defense. So between these two things, this is basically our instant survival kit. It'll be like we've taken three or four levels purely in guard. And on top of that, guard in general is very powerful. So we want one of those. Uh, at this point, I'd like to do a little bit of combining. So we should have picked up everything I needed already, unless something horrible happened. Uh-oh. Something horrible happened. Where am I missing this item? Let's find out real quick, chat, because I need this to beat the boss. Uh... I missed something in the sewers. We'll, we'll go back to the sewers then. It's not a big deal. <laughs> I'm like, I need scrap five for something, just for clarity. Where was scrap five? Let's go take a look. It was... Oh, okay, that, that's pretty easy. We can go get that. That's fine. Let's go get that now. My bad. I thought we, I thought we had scrap five already. I miscounted. No, 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 no. We're not buying it from the rat. We don't have money for that. <laughs> so let's go back and go get that. My bad. So, when I was mentioning before, I didn't want to take the long route in order to get the cure. I did not see on the map that there was a scrap 5 there. We need the scrap 5, period, end of statement. The reason we need the scrap 5 is to get a boot upgrade. Uh, we'll save again, that's fun. Fortunately, it's pretty early in the dungeon, so it's not like I have to backtrack super far. I would ideally like to avoid encounters, though. Um... I guess at this point it wouldn't hurt to just put the backpack on ourselves for massive defense and evasion. I, I was going to do that anyway. So we come up here. Then we go left, then we go, we stay to the top, we go down, then we go back up. We go across. That capsule that we see right there is the one that I want. So we don't have to go very far, fortunately. Starfish is there, avoid the starfish. 
Uh, get baited. Yeah, this is the thing that I need. There we go. It was in my notes, I just missed it. Seriously. Ah, there we go. Uh, is it worth resetting? I think it's worth resetting the room. Starfish. I hit right and set it down. That was my fault. On the plus side, maybe we'll guard. Or he'll just miss and waste a lot of time. I'm just gonna smoke bomb out of here. Listen, chat, I don't feel like messing with these things. If they want to miss me in general, that's on them. That's on them. That's... The fish, is, the fish literally blocked my path. There's nothing I could do. He just went in a straight line, and I don't want to go backwards. I'd rather fight him than dealing with our nonsense uh, starfish friend. Starfish are resistant to elemental weapons, and I believe also the run commands. They're quite horrible. Don't really want to fight them. I have to take another fight here, which is a bit unfortunate. Oh. Please block. Or dodge. We'll take the dodge. Thank you, shield pack. I'm pretty sure we dodged that due to shield pack, by the way. Thank you, shield pack. It's okay. So there's one... I have to do two less fights in the next area. I'll make a small note right now. Two less fights. And now we should be good to go. And funny enough, the, the boots that we're about to make are not going to be put on Robot 1. You might remember earlier I was saying we're gearing up Hit Me. It's now Hit Me's ch uh, time to shine, because Hit Me has to beat this boss, or we're going to be the forever roadblock. So let's go back to the father's house. Yeah, there are just a lot of details in this run to remember, sadly. Even with notes, I'll miss things. So now, we should be able to combine what I need. So scrap three. Oh, don't recycle, please. Oh my gosh, that would have been so disastrous. Scrap five. Scrap three. Make boots four. So we're going to be using pretty much the remainder of our money for repairs. I need to uh, have a minimum of 300 gold when I'm done. But we also haven't recycled... Hammer 2, which is worth a lot. Uh, I don't need Axe 2. Guess I could get rid of that, potentially. Uh, it's only 250. I'll hold on to it for now, it's fine. Alright, so we have 3,000-ish gold. So what we're gonna do is we are going to... You already have Punch 3 equipped. I need you with boots. So we have extra movement. Uh, we need to put the shield pack on the other character now. For now. The shield pack as well, just so we're ultra tanky. So we have triple punch, shield 2, boots 4, shield pack. Make sure the robot is first, because that would make me so sad if we just lost the other character for no reason. And what I need to do is, with whatever cash I have left... We're going to buy some smokes. We're going to buy some repairs. So I want to make sure I have about 10 smokes. I think I managed to avoid using some of them and just took the encounter. But like, I really, really need it in the next area. So we only have four, so I'm going to get about six smoke bombs. So let's go ahead and correct that. So say goodbye to all of our money. Oh, the repairs here are cheaper than the other place. Oh, that sucks. I didn't know that. Oh, I would have just waited then. I'll go for six here. So we have, I think, ten revives now. And then we're going to get at least six of these. Unfortunate, Chad. I didn't realize the other guy upcharged you. Oops. That's what you get for not writing down shop prices. Goodbye or bonus gold, I guess. So we still have a hilarious amount of extra gold. 
So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go down to, let's say, 1570. And then I'll buy one more repair kit for good luck. And the rest we'll hold on to for emergency. <laughs> and I think that should be good. So that should get us through some pretty rough times. And we're now at 10 repairs, 4 cures, so we can heal hit me a few times. Clean, we don't need it all. That's just free money whenever I feel like it. And uh, yeah, I think we're in a pretty good position. We have like about 900 more gold than we need to be to give like a rough estimate to the chat. If I want to complete a side quest, I somehow need 4,000 more gold, which I'm be real with you, I don't think it's going to happen. I know I squandered about 900 or so in repairs. Well, probably more like 1,200 in repairs, but even then I would have been able to do the other thing. What happens if I go to back to the police station? Oh, you just go back to jail if you talk to him? That's funny. I just wanted to see what would happen, chat. Anyway, let's just do the same thing and escape again. Because, you know... He's really bad at his job. So anyway, let's go back to the mayor. And we definitely want to save in front of the mayor's house. So things could go wrong here. Uh, this boss is a boss that also has RNG with its drops. So like we have about 900 more gold than we need to. But if we don't get good luck here, this could make the, our end game really difficult. So, yay, RNG drops. I'm not going to reset for the boss drop. We're just going to live with whatever we got. I'll put it that way. So, what we need to do, Robot 2 is now first. Robot 2 is punch 3, shield 2, shield pack boots 4. And all we do is we bully this boss hard. Hopefully we hit level 16 when all is said and done. Imagining with us getting a couple extra fights in the end, that should be very easy. And says, got it. The mayor hates dogs. Everybody knows that. So, Mickey, bring the dog to his office. I'll go first and ask for an interview. So, wish hit me good luck. Hit me is going to transform into hit you on this one. So, I put the triple flurry of blows strike on him to bully this boss specifically. Mickey, ready? Let's take the dog and talk to the mayor. He's the real mayor. He'll make quite a fuss when the dog comes near. Well, what a cute dog, but you shouldn't bring a dog in where people are trying to work. Wait, Mayor, when did you get over hating dogs? Before, if you were even close to a dog, you would let out a shriek. So what's going on now? Well, I, uh, see. Hmm, I guess I might as well come clean. I'm not really the mayor. I'm actually Hacker Vice Commander and Rose's biggest fan. Since you know who I am, I'm afraid I can't let you go. I'll take your life in the name of Rose. I love his name, by the way, chat. Papa Mecca. Oh my gosh, I got trolled by a capsule. <laughs> so hit me's going in, chat. If we, if we, okay, so if we get nothing but crits here, the boss fight will end in one move. Oh, but that well, wasn't a back attack. Never mind, wasn't a back attack. We did crit, but it wasn't like a great crit. So he, he did some damage to us, but uh, time to go, time to go to town. Didn't get a crit. We're taking some big damage here, but that's okay, we got cures. So we're gonna play it safe, because we're not getting lucky. He crit us more than we've crit him, which is so sad. I'm mashing, so that way we don't get double attacked. Really unlucky. We're not critting. We need to crit. Oh, we confused the AI there. That's kind of funny. How are we not getting a crit? Holy, 25% chance, please. 
By the way, every one of our punches in that command can technically crit. You know what? I think I have to take another safety cure. It's unfortunate. I did leave at least one for this fight, just for clarity. But he's crit us so many times. Come on, just one crit. There we go. It was the difference between doing 40 and 500. Do you see what I mean, chat? Damage in this game is bananas. <laughs> Right? Like, just a little, you know, you do 30 damage, you do 572. <laughs> just like... Okay, we did level, that's good, because I do need to level here. Alright, so the only thing we really need to care about, I guess... We'll eventually heal the other character, I don't think it matters. Uh, we need to go back here. I need to make sure, for sake of hitting enemies, our speed goes up to 99. So that way we don't have to worry about this for the rest of the game. I'd like to have that peace of mind. Uh, He's no longer ever going to be needed for attack. So we're just going to go ahead and take away his power. Hit me through hands. Destroyed him. Papa Mecha defeated. We're going to pump up our energy total here. So basically this is our fail safe against all of our other bosses. So we have a hilarious amount of health now. Um, unlike the other stats, which cap at 99, energy can go much, much higher. We could get triple digits. So we're going to be abusing triple digits to survive things like the final boss, for example. So 99 guard, max HP should be fine. And I believe there's nothing else we need to do, according to my notes. No, there's nothing else. Let's continue. We'll heal the other character later. It's not worth healing now, because I don't think it matters. We did it! A scoop! This won't do! I must write an article! So we still have two safety cures for the end of the game, by the way. So I only technically needed two cures, I think, throughout the entire run. One was earlier, potentially against Metacrab, and the last one was against this boss. So the other two can technically be scrapped. I don't plan on using them. Oh, Mickey. Oh. She doesn't have any comment when we defeated the mayor. Cool. Okay, never mind. Oh, that, oh, I'm sorry, we didn't free the real mayor yet. Whoops. <laughs> I was gonna leave him tied up, chat. I was like, so anyway. Oops. Should probably go free him. Is this door open, or are you gonna make me go the long way? Oh, oops. Not this way. This door is open. I'm talking more about the mayor. So I lost some time by forgetting which room I was in, but that's fine. We still save time overall. So I still can't go through here, right? Yeah, we can. Is he just stuck in there forever? Because we never got a key. Also, by the way, if you notice, the boss didn't drop us anything. So we got uh, unlucky, as it were. That boss, by the way, can drop up to 3,500 gold. By the way. Roll your eyes, chat. Like, thanks, game. I would have liked that, actually. Whatever. Mickey, isn't it? Where did you come from? Quick, open the door. Oh, did I get the key? Wait. I didn't get the key. Oh. I thought it... Oh. I didn't put that in my notes. Silly me. I forgot something on the mayor's desk, I guess. Whoops. Let's go back. Yeah, so sadly, we did not get any money, which would have been super good for us. Alright, we don't have to go here yet. We'll come back there later. What was in here, by the way? Oh, that's right, the fireplace. So we'll come back there eventually. In the meantime, let's just chill out as a mouse running around in the corridors. So I might have had to have checked the mayor's desk. So we're going to be down gold. I'll have to keep that in mind. We might do a couple of stops just to get extra gold. I forgot we did not A, automatically collect it, or B, that we needed it. Mayor schedule today. AM, breakfast with Rose, lunch, golf, PM, guest at club. Wow. So, if chat is curious, we can update this old album later. If I pay a lot of money, 
but I don't think that's going to happen in our playthrough, to be honest with you. Unless I feel like grinding off stream and showing a separate file, which I could do in theory, but it's literally there just for like an image change. As I said before, the side quests are kind of bad in this game. You have to put in a lot of effort and or a lot of time and or money and you get like literally nothing beneficial to you in combat or anything else. A lot of quests make you go very negative in cash, which really sucks. Use the key there. Uh, oh yeah, the stone. There's a fireplace in the next room leading to a hidden room. Your stone is there, but do it quickly. It's been nothing but trouble. Something awful happened. I'm gonna check one thing, chat. Are there any other weird side quests I should be aware of? Yeah, so technically there's a quest we could have done now if we wanted to. So we either need to be level 19 to finish the... Yeah, we need to be level 19 to finish the quest. Obviously I'm not that level, so I can't do that side quest. There's another one where there's an old woman. I guess we could talk to her briefly once we leave this area. That once we get to a certain point in the Volcano Island and we go back and we go specifically back to Rococo, uh, we can build her that little robot buddy we saw in the manor. However, that costs us 2,000. Do you want to know what happens, chat, when you complete that particular quest? Spending 2,000 for it? I love how it says somehow he removes the grating. Got stone one. You spend 2,000 to build your little, lo little robot buddy, and she gives you nothing. You get absolutely nothing. So as I said before, the quests in this game are kind of booty. <laughs> well done, kid. I was worried about not finding the last stone. This tetron will be used for something important. Thanks, kid. Oh, actually I wrote in all capitals on my notes. Don't forget to swap order back. I definitely did. Thank you, notes. You saved me on that one. So let's go ahead and swap our stuff around as well. So you could go back to Axe 2 life. Do this, do this. Go back to shield pack. So this should be, I think, good for now. So sadly, our item got stolen already. I can just see if there's any spare items I can sell in here. It doesn't look like it. Nikki, I want to take your picture for the article on the fake mayor. Wait, but we're the mouse. This is not the time. What? Looking for Rose. She's on the roof, I think. What happened? Wait, did she... <laughs> She, I don't think that I don't think the game was programmed to handle me leaving as the mouse. I unintentionally broke the dialogue there. Another mouse. What a bother. <laughs> well, I guess we'll see what happens if the game reacts to me being a mouse here. So anyway, we got to go up to the roof. Yeah, that's an oops oversight. Well, kid, come to see me off. What a cute kid. <laughs> oops. <laughs> Broke the dialogue chat. Local mouse exposes this fake mayor. <laughs> yeah. Thanks to you, my plan will succeed. Well, kid, maybe we'll meet again. Uh, she needs to get her eyes checked. <laughs> little, little mousey, but in a cute way. I mean... At this point, I don't even think she knows what we look like anymore. She's like, I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for your cute little mousey too. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, people are back in here. Did they say anything other than cute mouse? No. I guess that's the default dialogue when they don't feel like adding stuff. Save Rococo. Thank you. You've got a bright future ahead of you. So listen, you know the room back there? The fireplace? There's a dresser there. The Mary Savins are hidden there. This is bribe money. Use it well. Wait, I checked that earlier and nothing happened. Mary seems to be doing a little better than he was before. Well, a little bit. Wait, there's bribe money? Hold on. This is not in my routing. I mean, now I'm going to go back there. <laughs> right, chat? Wait a minute. <laughs> I mean, this might solve our problem. You mean this room? Oh. Okay, well. 
I didn't realize you could get bribe money from the mayor. The more you know. I didn't think checking out the mayor's house was worth, uh... Or office, excuse me, it was worth checking on the maps, but... I would have missed out on that had I not talked to the NPC. So thank you, NPC. You saved us a lot of time. So I could scratch off getting a lot of bonus items. So I got kind of, like, in-between luck, I guess you could say. I didn't get the full 3,500. But I need exactly 2,000, I believe, to make shield 3. So this means I could go for a safer boss strategy later. So, not bad, I guess? Let's talk to him. When a woman likes a man, it could be a scary thing. Remember that. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Does the secretary have anything new to say now that we've done this? You're saying the mayor was a fake, but he didn't... But he was a nice man, and he did his share of the work. Wow. I love that she's actually upset the fake mayor's gone. <laughs> that's, that's kind of funny. Let's go through here. Hello, I'm Mint. It's clear the new Secretary Rose is one of the hackers. Hackers have kidnapped the real mayor and replaced him with a fake mayor. The one who saved Rococo from the hackers is Mickey. The mayor was saved too. Not much is known about the hackers, but I intend to continue gathering information about them. Everyone, watch this space. The real Mary was switched with the fake one, but Mint found out about it. She's amazing. Alright, so I don't think anything is here. Yeah, sadly the other posters don't update. That crab can speak like a human. Very interesting. Go take a look. The harbor, you said. Good, let's go. Well, we're gonna be meeting our crab buddy again, chat. I think we could do at least one more dungeon. I'm gonna get a little further. I think if we were to timestamp roughly where we are in about a three and a half hour run, we're about literally at the halfway point right now. So that's not bad. So, okay. Here's one thing that makes the game kind of scary here. Normally I would be closer to level 20 in order to use the item vanish. I think I mentioned that before. And, uh, and that makes the upcoming dungeon really easy. But you might have noticed I'm not level 20, so that'll be fun. We we, we have fun times in store for us, chat. I gotta do the dungeon legit. Vanish does what you think it does. It makes you invisible, and it's a way to avoid all encounters. But the other thing that it does is that... Stop me if you've heard this one before, but the item has a bug on it. So normally, it it's you use it, and it, it lingers, and eventually it has a timer on the item, and it disappears. However, if you swap items, it resets the timer. So if you have two vanishes, you just go into your menu, swap between vanishes, and you essentially have unlimited stealth. So that might be the only bug that I exploit in the game. Which, to be honest, will probably happen even if I wasn't going for it, because there's several times I will go from vanish to a key item, and that will unintentionally reset it. So, I, I don't think it's worth trying to dodge the bug, to be real with you. What do you want? We found this crab. We're going to tease it for a while. Go away! The master, it's me! I was the hacker's leader, now I'm just a crab! I've come a long way to tell you something, but now these kids have caught me! So I think I gotta save them with a surprise horn, if I remember correctly. What? Don't mistreat the crab, but it's fun! Okay, we'll stop, but it's gonna cost you. You're an inventor? An invention would do. Give me some good equipment. What's that? What? It makes a loud noise and scares people? Cool! Give us that! Mickey has lost the surprise horn. Salute the surprise horn. You died for crab. Yeah, that surprise horn... That surprise horn put in the work. <laughs> it, it worked in, like, several dungeons, and it got us out of jail. Wow, let's play with that. Rip surprise horn. Now, we can go on a side quest to get that back, but we don't need it for the rest of the run. Once I get Vanish, I technically can get it back easy. Let's talk to the crab. Thank you, you're a very kind person. It's about your father. Heard from a hacker friend. He's being forced to work at Hacker HQ. That's what I heard. Just l like them. I don't know what will happen. You better go rescue him as soon as you can. Hacker HQ, I went there for my training trip. I'll tell you the place. Go now. Visit the house in the north. The fishermen there could get to the island. The ship will soon sail as I requested. Hey, please go quickly. Be sure to talk to the fishermen. 
Actually, I just want to showcase another quest before we go further. I don't believe we timed out on this quest. I'm looking for a specific house. Might be this one? No. Nope. It's Flavon's house, I should have known that. Uh... Is it this house? Yes. My health is not so good. I sure could use a helper. Nikki learn how to make a little robot. Well, Chan, if we somehow end up with a hilarious amount of cash at the end of the game, we could build her a little robot friend and then give it away and get absolutely nothing. <laughs> but anyway, that, that was the quest I was mentioning earlier. That's all I wanted to do with it. I have no interest in completing the quest unless I'm bored. Uh, okay, so that means I could skip getting a couple items that aren't, like, worth a lot to sell. But I do want to show off something not related to the run. In terms of just, like, plot points, anyway. Oh, it's you. The talking crab told me about you. I don't give rides, but the crab asked me to. I made my living by crabbing. It wouldn't be fair to refuse a crab's request. There you go. Honorable gentleman fisherman right there. That boat on the right of the pier will take you over to Snow Mountain. So this was probably one of my least favorite parts of the game coming up, sadly, chat, because there is a lot of backtracking that you have to do. Like, a lot, a lot. So I'd like to apologize for the next 25 minutes, as we will be going to this place, going to Rococo, then going to this place again, and then potentially going back to Rococo, depending on our items. So just roll your eyes, chat. Mandatory backtrack. It'll be coming up. We gotta sit through this animation every time, too, by the way. <laughs> it's so brutal. <laughs> Can't speed it up. Oh, well. Let's look at the sign. Welcome to Hacker Island. Airbase is over the mountain. Yeah, we'll be going to the airbase soon. Okay, so... I'm going to open up my map just to make sure that I don't miss any items, since I did miss that one item before. No, 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 I don't want that. I need the map for this place. At least we get to listen to the world music for a moment. It's kind of nice. Okay. So wish me luck, chat. This is a detour we're about to take. So normally, I... I'm gonna save here. Are they seriously swarming me? What is this BS? Don't make me reset the game. I really don't want to fight any of this. Please go away. I think I'm forced to reset here because... Oh, wait, hold on. Ooh! Oh, well, there we go. Dodge those three encounters. Well, anyway, my goal is to technically go north, but there's a secret I want to show off, and it involves coming over here. So I'm going to do to go faster here. I'm going to change it to the mouse in case we have any rough terrain we have to go over. Got to avoid the bird. Oh, it's so fast. It's so fast. That is so hard to dodge. And again, if we die, it doesn't really matter because I don't plan on taking the items from here. I prefer to keep going from the playthrough standpoint. So let's talk about everything that's in this cave for a moment. So let me just pop open something else on my screen. So from that standpoint, in this cave, there are several items that are potentially use useful in a casual playthrough. Unfortunately, one of the items is sadly a cure, which we could get by opening that wall to the left. Our destination is actually slightly to the right. If we loop around the rest of the cave, we could get Bomb 3 and Boots 3, which if we wanted to play with three robots is somewhat useful to get. There's no one here, says the sign. So you might notice in a casual playthrough, 
If you walk into this, you can't seem to cross the room properly. But the sign is hinting at something. Put on the chameleon glasses. Here's a little, little, little robot friend. You found me. I'm Robot K. I'm a programmer. It's not important. As a reward, I will give you a hint. Scrap 9 and Scrap 10 are the strong parts. They make up the core. When you find them, don't be in a hurry to combine them. And find the best combination possible. That's all I wanted to show you, chat. There's a little hint there. We already used Scrap 9 earlier to make the Super Boots. I'll ch That felt kind of unfair. It moves faster than us that he spotted me instantly. I mean, I am playing as Hit Me currently. Maybe this will work. I need to swap my order back. At some point. Ooh, there we go. You gotta be kidding me. There we go. Oh, The fact that back attacks work like that is so unfortunate. Okay, fortunately we're getting good escapes though. Since I don't want to level, maybe it's better I just leave him active here. Also, I don't know why I thought he wouldn't just immediately run into me. Interesting you can still escape while stopped. Stop normally f stops you from using the run command and also from moving. That's interesting that it works like that. I went up the wrong rope, but I need to reset the room anyway. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be totally kidding me. Are you really going to block my path? Is this happening? Wow. Now we're having our classic quintet moment. There's nothing I could do about this. This is pretty unfair. Unless they move one more... Unless they both move one more space, I can't do anything. Wow. I might just reset, honestly, at this point. I don't think there's anything I could do. Unless he moves one more time. Nope. Yeah, thanks, Quintet. The Terranigma trolling never stops. Can you please stop going up there? Thank you. Jeez. What a troll. So anyway, uh, just to verify, just for chat's curiosity, there is a path to the left. If we take that path to the left, it gives us a single cure. As you can imagine, I don't care. I'm not going for it. So our only goal here is to just exit this area, which is easier said than done. I think I'm just going to smoke bomb this, to be honest with you. They hit me prior to me being able to press the button. That is so sad. That was so sad. Yeah, hit me, hit me putting in the work right now. I'm not going to lie. All right, fine. Then I'm not going to smoke bomb since I can already escape. It can attack me on an elevated terrain? I did not see that one coming. You got me, game. You got me. That's fine. Well, I guess we have another use for those bonus cures. It's to face tank everything with hit me. Since, as I said before, I actually don't want XP for quite some time. The reason I don't want XP is that there is a very specific item I want to merge into. And that will save us a five something minute trip to leave the dungeon and then go all the way out of the dungeon. And it's really, really deep in the dungeon chat. Like we're talking more than 14 rooms I have to go through. So I would really prefer not to go into encounters that I don't need. So out of curiosity, we're going to go ahead and go to the base entrance, but I want to see how much total experience I have. I can get 24.2 more XP before I level. The goal is not to level until... Where's my goal? Don't need to do anything here. Don't need to worry about that. I'm going to hit level 17, I think, via the boss. There's nothing I could do about that. So I just have to avoid level 18. So as long as I don't hit level 17 before the other boss, I think I'm fine, which is about 10 minutes from now. That should be fun. Okay, so why don't we leave smoke equipped for now? Uh, actually, you know what? 
I'm gonna see if we get bonus dialogue if we do this. Nope, just mice are cute. This is the hacker airbase. The planes are all gone, so everyone's got free time. You see the snowman maker right here. Give me one more second as I boot up the other map. As I said before, some of these areas are very large, and most of them are kind of worth it, but also not worth it. If that makes sense. Like, there's some detours that are worth it. Others are just heinous. So we're gonna go here. There's an item in the next area, which is a key. So we're, our goal is to get to the upper left. Now, the downside about this... Actually, let me one more safety save. There's an annoying enemy, but not really an enemy, that essentially acts as the base's alarm system. If it spots us, it is going to be horrendous. <laughs> Just letting you know. I'm going to hopefully get by it the first time. It's up here, so you will often not be able to react in time to it. Uh, that might be fine. Ooh, almost got through them. Almost. That's fine. The capsule will save us. I don't care about him summoning more people. This is fine so far. I'd like to not use smoke bombs if I don't have to. There we go. I think that went okay. Do you know Dr. Akihabara? Maybe it's him, maybe not. The blimp designer is around somewhere. Lots of blimps are made in this factory too. We went to the tower to plan strategy. I was a blimp repairman, but the hackers kidnapped me and brought me here. If you oppose them, they erase your memory. That's what I've heard, so I just do my job. Hmm. Well, anyway, mandatory item right here, chat. We got the key. Uh... Should be fine for now. I could safety heal hit me, but I don't think it matters right now. Yeah, this enemy is so obnoxious. See, it's blocking our path. I can't walk through him, by the way, so he has to be out of the path for me to win. Oh my gosh, the RNG movement. The RNG movement, stop! <laughs> what are you doing? Come on, what is he? Oh, I'm being bullied. <laughs> he is... Oh, I think this is my chance. Oh, there we go. I was getting RNG bullied for a while there, but we got through. So we're going to use the key. Uh, I think this is the area I just want to smoke bomb. I don't think I want to deal with any of these enemies. So I could go up. I'm just double checking. Do I need to go to the bathroom for anything plot wise? No, I need to go to the southeast, which is fine. Oh, is he blocking the door? So unlucky. That is so unlucky. That is so unlucky. Ooh, and I didn't escape. I'm mashing, I'm mashing. I'm getting really unlucky. Only does one damage, because we're at 99 guard. This is fine, we could take 20 something more hits. Unless he crits, then we, uh, then we get wrecked. So now we're outside. I believe I need to equip something to get by this person. No one can come here in here except soldiers. Get out! Um, I'm just gonna transform into a mouse right in front of you. Don't mind me. Ice are cute, chum. So before we take our seat at the table, let's talk to these people. I love how I could just ignore this, by the way. I could literally just go to the next room. But unfortunately, I need an item from here. Wow, it's been a long time since I've eaten crab. Okay, since I know I'm going to be in a fight that is mandatory, uh, let us swap the order back to this. Everybody's excited to eat crab, apparently. Someone called you here for the execution? Better take a seat, it's about to start. Oh, they mostly have the same dialogue, disappointing. Alright, let's take a seat. You are the hacker's greatest soldiers. I've gathered you all together to tell you something. This former leader divulged confidential information and betrayed us. So we'll boil him. And after it's over, we'll have a little taste. Oh, please forgive me. My kind doesn't taste very good. Oh. You are my master, aren't you? Save me. Hey, you. Aren't you the fugitive inventor? Just like a moth to the flame. Everyone, before we eat, we'll do our exercises. Get him. There you go, chat.
Look at this murderer. The sword is so good. <laughs> right, chat? We're we're hitting with like 30 damage before. Sword says no. <laughs> I'm sorry, master. I worry about you so much. I've been a burden to you. I thought I'd give this to you. I used to use it when I was the leader of the hackers. Nikki received leader's badge. So I can ignore these two parts. I'm just opening up something else on the map. So fortunately, there's not too much more to this area. However, we have a lot to do. Now the leader's room is accessible. You could get in with this. I'd go with you if I could, but I'd be a burden again. Master, press on! Goodbye, crab buddy. So we'll do another safety save. So this area fortunately doesn't have a boss. How is it too noisy? We're outside. What? Well, apparently we won't save because, you know, I'm, I could be in a volcano base and save, but outside of the open air, it's snowing too loudly, chat. <laughs> Guess we could view what the item does. Badge to get into hacker restricted areas. So anyway, we're just going to be using this. What? Oh, you're a leader. I'm very sorry. Please go in. That was easy. Oh, oh, oh. Smoke, smoke. Ooh. Yeah, this is the room I'm scared about. We're gonna have to come through here a couple times. What? Daki Akihabara. Dr. Akihabara, excuse me. You're his son. He's been taken to the tower. Try looking there. Your father told me about you, but the tower is only accessible from the air. I have a child too. Carl's his name. So I know how you feel. I'll do what I can. So chat, believe it or not, we now have to completely exit the dungeon. That's it. We had to talk to him. Now we have to go back to Carl. And then we have to talk to this guy again, which is so obnoxious, by the way. So don't mind me, just gotta get through the whole dungeon again. This time in reverse! Dot 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 from the chat. Yeah... I really think they could have routed this better. There is no reason I should have to completely leave the dungeon. Like, this is just obnoxious. Oh, you know what I could do? Let's just tank with this character for now. Oh, or I just get through without needing smoke. That's fine. So anyway, we're going to have to do this again. <laughs> just, I, I already apologized earlier, but... Oh, look, he felt another snowman chat. I've got a lot of free time, so I made some more. He's, he's just happy building snowmen. I wonder if they, if they only made you backtrack just for his pun. Because depending on how far we are with the process of getting an ability to fly the number of snowmen will gradually increase i like i wrote in my notes quote go through the whole damn place again for some reason end quote <laughs> i i i could feel i was annoyed <laughs> i was taking notes just uh it was there Needless to say, chat, I'm not a fan of backtracking. It's all in capitals, too. Oh, well. So, let's go back to Carl. So, you might remember from the very beginning of the game, Carl got something called a litho. That'll be important in a moment. That was the item he got in the initial cave treasure room. Excuse me. Oh, it's you. As you might. Oh, did I not do something right? Wait. Oh no. Did I have to talk to him more than once? Oh no. Him mentioning Carl wasn't good enough for the plot. Oh, I didn't even pick up on that. That's horrible. Okay, now I now I can apologize for real. <laughs> I have to go back because apparently him mentioning Carl was not good enough for some reason. 
But Carl, you know him. I hate this guy so much. Well, you're from Rococo. Is he all right? Has he been a good boy? I'll write a letter. Will you deliver it? Great. I'll write it right away. Please wait here. My bad, Chad. <laughs> we need a letter. Um, dear Carl, how are you? I'm sorry that I disappeared. I was kidnapped by evil people and forced to work. Can't help worrying about you and your mother. I don't know when I can come home. You're the man of the house now. Signed, your father. Please take this letter to him. I know it's hard for you, too. Sorry to put you out. Alright, now we have to go back. No we'll roll our eyes, chat. So let's let's skip ahead, I suppose, and just go back to Carl. At least that room was pretty clear. That, that was a pretty clean escape. I didn't even need a smoke bomb there. That was good enemy RNG, where I don't have to play like the dodging minigame with them. Avoid the snowman, because we'll move slower. So I believe there should be a third snowman. To make things kind of interesting. Ooh, that guy was in a bad position. Nothing I could do there. If he's not on the far left, I can't get by him. But hey, at least we're saving a ton of smoke bombs for later. Right, Chad? I mean, this is money I'm saving. Every time I don't smoke bomb to get by them, it just makes the next dungeon more tolerable. Because then I could just s escape everything. Because this is said before, there's the third snowman. So, as I mentioned earlier, I need to be a very specific level in order to... create an item that I need for the boss. Not the- weirdly not the first boss we're gonna fight, but the second boss. So now I have a lot of ways to instant escape. And because I'm looking to not take encounters, I think I'll just leave Hit Me in the front, to be honest with you. I mean, we lose a little time menuing the order back, but I think saving potentially 300 per repair, I think it's just worth it at this point. That'll be our personal adjustment for the run. We'll just play it ultra safe versus just slightly safe. Because now that we're at 99 defense, I mean, there's pretty much nothing that can hurt the thing more than, for more than one damage. Unless it's a crit, or it's a boss. Alright, so let's go back to Rococo. We're going to leave our second robot body in the front, and we should be good for a while. What is it? What, you met my father? Don't play games with me. Father left my mother and met me a long time ago. What are you talking about? Okay, let's look at the letter. Letter to Carl from his father. Let's present the letter. What? A letter from my father? Sh show it to me. Mickey gave the letter to Carl. You, kidnapped or naughty, just disappeared. Came back just to give me the letter? People like you are very kind. Thank you. Let's try leaving. Hey, wait. I didn't have any paper, so I wrote on this. Please give it to him. Mickey takes the litho. So we got the litho. I think it stands for lithogram, I believe. From the very beginning of the game, from the hacker cave. I'm gonna examine it before we get rid of it. Litho that Carl found in the cave. That's all it describes it as. Anyway, chat, we're gonna have a wonderful little journey. <laughs> yet again, back to the other place. I eventually want to heal the other character, but I'm gonna be greedy for as long as possible and not take the heal. The reason being is that I know I'm going to level on one of the upcoming bosses, and I'd rather heal for after we get more energy, so that way I menu less, and if I take damage between here and there anyway, it's just more HP I have to work with, rather than burning a spare cure. So there we go, chat. We're doing on-the-fly route readjustments. <laughs> since my movement through the game is still very questionable. Well, anyway, now that we're here yet again, this will be the last time that we have to walk here, fortunately. So up we go. He's now on his fourth snowman chat. So as I said before, I half wonder if the reason they make you backtrack is specifically for the visual gag. Ooh. Wait, how did he see me from there? What a cheater. 
Oh, there's somebody in here to talk to? Hey, wait your turn. Can you see me through walls or just through the door? There we go. We're almost there, Chad, I promise. Just got one more annoying room to deal with. Speaking of which, let's use a smoke bomb here. I think we avoided using one last time. So this should hopefully keep them out of the way. And it did. Nice. Thank you, smoke bomb. What this blimp? It's still in development. There's no engine for it. If only I had a way to develop an engine. What? To me from Carl. Just like him to write on something like this. Huh? Where'd this come from? It's a blueprint. Hey, it's plans for an engine. How convenient, chat. I might be able to use this. Maybe I could return the favor someday. Work hard. Why do you say someday and then work hard? Oh, we got rid of his other snowmen. At last, the blimp is done. I'll give it to you. Use it to help... Uh, use it to help you find your father quickly. Thank you, received the blimp. Okay, chat, we finally have overworld travel that does not involve getting in that boat anymore. Blimp acquired. Call the blimp, quip it, and push the Y button. Go ahead, try it out. Blimp. Airplane from Carl's father. Let's you go to places you can't walk to. Sure. Is that really a blimp or an aircraft? I'm pretty sure blimps don't have jets or wings like that. I'm just saying it's not what I picture when I think of a blimp. So let's take a look at some optional areas. Huh. Oh, oh, it's you. Get out. An awful thing happened to me because of you. The ship was wrecked. It was a remote island. No materials to repair it. Like salt in my wounds. So there we go. Little, little side quest here. Uh, I'm just seeing if there's anything... Is it this quest? This is weirdly not in the quest list. Huh. What a weird... What a weird reference material to not reference this area. I'm double checking. Everything else is... Nope. Okay, I, I literally don't see it here, so I'm pretty sure all we have to do is give him a repair. I might as well as do it. Oh, or maybe not. I know there's something we can do with this. Is it is it later in the game? Hmm. We'll check on this later. I don't actually see it in the official Robotruck site chat. That's weird. Like, he's not even mentioned at all as being here. I knew he was here from a long time ago. So, okay, we can't do anything yet. I think we can help him later, question mark? Before the end of the game. So we'll remember that he's in the bottom right for now. I'll double check, I think, between sessions. There is one other area that has something we could do right now, though. The question is where it is on the world map. We gotta figure it out. Uh, might be this one. Like the sad music. We eloped. Everything was fine until we came to live on this island. Now she has a terrible fever. On some island, fever flower grows, I heard. I can't leave her side to go look for it. Oh. Interesting, interesting. Uh. I could purchase this from the mouse shop, because I'm looking ahead to... Oh, that's what it is. So, I didn't trigger the other conversation. I don't think I picked up a Scrap 7. I might have technically been able to get it... I 
I can get it in a little bit, I think. I don't think we've been to where this drops normally. So I could spend money to complete this quest. I think I'm going to choose not to. So you might remember that from the beginning of the game. Oh, Father, I'm sorry. So essentially what we need to learn is that now that we know that... I guess I'll showcase the chat rather than just verbalize it. Now that we are aware that they're here, now we can interact with Einst. But we don't have the scrap that he needs. So I'll see if I could do a detour for this item so that way we don't have to pay money. Uh, so if we bring him scrap seven, we allow him to go free, essentially. It's a very questionable decision on our part. So I'm just looking to see one other thing to do. There should be one more quest we could do. So let me close all of these, because I don't need them. Oh. Interesting. So there's- it's possible I could have... I could have gotten it back when we we're in the other hacker base. Interesting. Hmm. How badly do I want to go back for this is the question. I feel like not really. So where else does this drop out of curiosity? Oh, that's much easier to get. Okay, we're gonna wait. <laughs> we're gonna wait, chat. I'm gonna just make a small note here for next session. I don't think I need this for anything. I'm pretty sure I don't need Scrap 7 for anything, because we should have everything we need. So our goal is to go here to the Fortress entrance, but there's one other place. Chicken farm. Here we go. This we can actually do something now without spending money. Let's come inside. I'm so unhappy. My pretty Katrina. Oh, it's my chicken's name, but she's not here. So I believe Katrina was mentioned in the chicken races in Terranigma. Kind of a random callback, I suppose. So let's go talk to the other chickens to find stuff out. Cluck, feed me. Luck feed me. Luck feed me. Katrina's hiding in the shadow of the house. Cluck feed me. What? He's fussing about he's fussing about me again. He's always like that. I just went out for a walk, Cluck. There we go. No, <laughs> that one chicken's way more helpful than the others. K Katrina, where are you? Do you mean where were you? I'm worried about you. You found her, thank you. I'll give you something. Should I pick this up from somewhere? I'll give it to you to show my gratitude. We acquired Blade 2. We're not gonna use it, but I just I just figured just to showcase the side quest, why not? I don't think there's anything else in this house. So I said he worries about me, but he's so overprotective, Cluck. Anyway. Easy side quest. So as I said before, if I wanted to spend money, I could get the other quest done now. Sadly, though, that means I could spend a thousand gold chat to get a 300 gold reward. So just let's listen to how that sounds and realize why I'm not excited to do side quests for the most part in this game. So I have a quest that I could spend 2000 and get nothing or I could spend a thousand and only get 300 in return. So I could be down a lot of money if I really choose to be. Spoilers, I don't want to be down that money, so I'm not going to. But hey, at least we showcase some easy things. So I think that's it. There's nothing else to really explore in the overworld. So as chat can see, we've actually been to almost every location in the game. At least that's visible on the world map. So I guess we're ready to 
I guess do one more dungeon, and that'll be it for the stream. So let's take a safety save here. Hmm. I don't think I really want XP at all. I might just skip it and farm a very easy to kill enemy instead. Just changing my routing plan a little bit here. Sorry about the delays. So yeah, let's just get to the end and hopefully we don't need too many smokes. Good dodge. We're now in the fortress. I don't think that item gives us anything interesting, but just to showcase the reward for obvious items. We got a hammer. Which I guess sells for an okay amount. It is an attack item. My brain totally forgot how to do it. So like, if, if I want to, I could use it. I don't want to. But anyway, sword and blade are different things, chat, believe it or not. I believe Blade 4 is a reference to Soul Blazer because it fires the Red Phoenix shots that were at the end of the Soul Blazer game. I don't think, sadly, I'll get to it in the playthrough. Maybe it'll be like a bonus content if I decide I want to do it. I think for now, we gotta go up here. Hey you, there's a meeting going on. Suspicious lights like you can't pass. Oh. Do we need the leader badge? You. You're in the leader's class. I'm so sorry. Go on in. I wasn't even talking to this guy. What are you doing here? The meeting's in use. I'm guarding it so no one gets in. What? It's stupid not to guard the doors. You're right. Thanks for telling me. I managed to make him run away. So he was guarding. Scrap three. Which I don't need, but I just figured I'd just go take it, I guess. Anyway, let's uh just... Blackmore will be speaking soon, line up. Okay, so I can't talk to Blackmore directly. Now, Quinton X Branch Commander Blackmore will explain the strategy. Can hardly wait. Oh, let's talk to Father. What? Father? I'm footloose and fancy free. I don't know guys like you. Hmm, he doesn't recognize this chat. It's almost like... He lost his memory. Oh, can we not... Oh, I thought we could just line up here and get more dialogue. Interesting. Well, thank you, Try, for resubscribing. Hopefully you're doing well. Hmm. I'm curious why something isn't triggering. I thought there was more dialogue here. <laughs> okay, they don't seem to have a comment when I turn into the little mouse there. I'm gonna check one thing real quick, chat, just to make sure I'm not missing extra dialogue. I have in my notes where a specific timestamp is. I'm just gonna verify that there's nothing else I have to do here. So just making sure if there's no other dialogue, we'll move forward. I think we just have to talk to Father. Just backing up to make sure we don't need anything. Doing okay, got finished with a move Friday and got an internet today. Nice, nice. Okay, so I'm not hallucinating. There is more to do here. It's just not triggering for some reason. Maybe I have to talk to Father again? Why is it not triggering? I'm so confused. Uh... Question mark? I know this is where I have to stand. Is there... Okay, I'm double checking. Is there something I have to do? Oh, do I have to keep spam talking to him? Oh! Oh! Oh, Quintet, why... <laughs> of course, I didn't talk to him. I have to keep talking to him, of course. Yeah, that. see, as I said before, there's just those little details where I'm like, really? Seriously? Go away, kid, you bother me. I'm gonna hack your scientist, Daki Akahabra. 
They say I don't know you, I don't know you. Now I can advance the dialogue here. <laughs> Just roll our eyes real quick. Of course. Hey guys, listen. Thanks to you, we've gathered three Tetron. This is a real start. We'll show our power by occupying Quintinex. And we have a new weapon. Okay guys, let's go for it. This is our chance to show our power to the people on our home planet. So I needed that to happen. There we go. What if I just go back inside? Oh, they're just gone. Wow, they're really fast. See, so yeah, I, I got trolled a little bit there. That was a little, little tee-hee funny the game had at my expense, for sure. See, so yeah, I could have technically gotten the other scrap we needed earlier. Uh, but I'm gonna wait a little bit for it. Uh... So I just want to make sure, there should be one more thing I can do before we advance. Just looking for something, sorry about pausing. So this area is probably one of the bigger areas, so I just want to make sure we don't move around too needlessly. So let me clear up some of the tabs with the other areas. So believe it or not, in total there's about 10 different screen, no, 18 different screens between us and the end. A couple of them are very straightforward, some are not, and that's where I'm looking to double check some stuff. Okay, so the treasure in the next room is not important. Okay, that's all I needed to know. So there's an item immediately as soon as we enter, which is a cure. I don't want that. There is 1200 gold, which I do want, but it's behind a door that I can't access yet. <laughs> Do a, little, do a little dance with him there. Oh, oh, oh. Smoke bomb, smoke bomb. That's so unfair. I even ran to hopefully not do that. So unfair. Oh, well, I tried. Use his invulnerability, maybe, to get by him. Oh, that actually worked. Alright. Huh. All's well that ends well, I suppose. Now we're gonna change. So as you can see, there's two doors so far that we've come across that require a key. So we're going to be doing a lot of navigation. I can tell where the path isn't by the grate that's on the northern part. So when in doubt, I'm just going to go south. Blackmore says, Hey, Dr. Akihabara, the Tetron doesn't work. What's wrong with it? It's obvious this isn't just a normal stone. It's not perfected yet, it's still missing a part. It's... missing a part? Is there some technique? He... He's useless, he doesn't understand. I'll let you see it. My plan was to get to... get the jump on my home planet. If I don't understand this power, it's all in vain. Stop it, I won't ask you again. Hey, is someone there? Take him away. The laser is finished. I don't need him anymore. I will throw him out with the trash. Okay. Is the Tetron still not clear? I can't rely on him for the Tetron. It's too important. An impatient man. The Tetron will be investigated further. An unusual mouse. His goofy face reminds me of that boy that I thought I saw on the rooftop but definitely didn't canonically so far. What boy? That's an unforgivable line. That's a secret. Let's go. I want to... Oh, let's go. I want to finish this before the home planet gets wind of it. There you go. Pumpkinhead's retreating. So we can look at the books. I learn how to make quick pack. I learn how to make power pack. I learn how to make shield three. That's the one that I was looking for. So we got the key. So now we gotta backtrack. Oh, he is not gonna line up for me for Smoke Bomb, is he? Well, he kinda did. Oh, yeah, that was a good smoke bomb. So now we're going to equip the key. 
If I have to take a fight here, it's fine. I could just escape battle. Nice. So we're making up for XP that I took earlier. So I'm going to do this for 1,200 gold. So I'm going to bait him over here. Got him, chat. We got the safety gold. Uh, don't like where he spawned there. I mean, I guess I should probably take a fight at some point. But probably not this one. Ooh, there we go. Nice little juke of the AI there. <laughs> what is this garbage? <laughs> is there another? I forgot about this guy. See, these are things you don't see when you look at the maps. Uh, I'll equip smoke bomb just in case. Almost got through. So what I could do is I could lure them over here and then stun them. Godlike. I think that's just a cure. I'm ignoring it. Goodbye, Wheelie, I think his name is. I think I went down the wrong path because I got scared of the guard. Ooh, there we go. Squeezed on by. We'll take this fight. This is fun. Oh, actually... Wait, I got confused. Do I need to go here yet? One second, chat. I got ahead of my notes. I need to pause the double check. So I got the money. Do I need to go here or come here later? That's the question I'm asking myself. We went to this part, ignored the cure. Oh. Yeah, I don't go here yet. Okay, that's why I double checked. That's why I double checked. Okay, so we got it. I had the right idea. I got confused by the enemy chasing me. Hopefully we just block this. We are getting kind of low on health. So we might fo he might finally force a cure out of me, which I could go get in the other room if I really wanted to. You know what? Fine, we'll use a cure. Not like I can't just replace it by going in the other room anyway. Anyway, I think what I wanted to do was come over here first. I'm Dr. G's assistant. He says doctor, but he's a computer specialist. Trying to save a person's memory in the computer. Results are good. Subject had memory loss, but... Computers in this fortress are all on a network. This is the mainframe. Only Dr. G can enter the mainframe room. My name is Dr. G. I'm a computer engineer. I program this whole hacker computer. Want to hear about my latest invention? Sure. I'll tell you, humans entering computer project is underway. Sorry for the flashes in the middle of the screen, by the way. First, a mouse's experiment is necessary. There's no mice here. Want to be my subject? Yeah, that's important research information. Don't touch it. Anyway, we gotta be a mouse. Oops, that's not the change. Dr. G, a, a mouse! Don't talk nonsense, a mouse here. O what? Hey, a present from above. Is this an A, a test? We'll use this mouse. Roger Wilco, a test. A test, a test, I'm so happy. A test, a test, I'm so glad. Assistant A, know the procedure. Yes, Dr. G, I'll fasten this to him. It's easier than washing your pants. Mickey's ear has something attached. Uh-oh, Chan. Hmm. I'm just updating my notes to say, check the far left bookshelf. So there's nothing we could do in here. I'm just going to leave for now. But this is why this dungeon ends up being kind of long. We have to do some computer diving by jacking into the network chat. How 90s. Assistant A, look, the mouse came back. It was a success, Dr. G. Congratulations. Quick, take the stuff off him. Let's go into the computer. Yes, Dr. G, it's easier than washing your pants. Why does he keep saying that? Anyway, they're in there now. We don't need to worry about them. We just did all this just so we could get the Cyberjack instructions. And fortunately, right in here, chat. Oh, I could have waited to heal. Oh, my bad. I didn't mean to hit the mic. 
I could have waited to heal. Yeah, I can't reach. I wanted to show that dialogue, but it's fine. So what we can end up doing is let's make a safety item. Do you make a shield three? Does, oh, it only costs a thousand. Correct uh, that in my notes. So the reason I want to take the shield is purely for safety reasons. Against the upcoming boss, with my setup, it has about a 11% chance to hit me. But if I take the shield, it only has a 6% chance to hit me. So as you can hear, halving his ability to hit me when it's already terrible, I think we'll take it, chat. RNG has been very mixed, but that's kind of the quintet life. So we need to make the Cyberjack as well. So go ahead and make this because it's a plot item. It would have been nice to be able to make cures here if I needed to. But I don't think I learned the recipe for it. Is there anything I want to get rid of? Not really. I could get rid of scrap three technically. How much is that worth if I sell it? 500? That's actually not bad. Uh, I don't think any other character needs adjustments. I think this is correct. So I want to hold off on my level up, as I said before, for after the boss. So I think this is good for now. I think we already have our setup. I'm going to see if we could save in here. For safety reasons. Too noisy. Makes sense. Okay, if we're out of this room with the music, what happens? No. So I got to do this dungeon basically in one go. Got it. Okay. So... I believe what we need to do is we're now in the northern door, so I need to go back to where we just came from because I believe in the other room where we were taking the books, there was a computer, and that's the computer I need to use. Yes. Level 18. I'm sorry, different book room. 17. Can't read it. So you can see the game <laughs> level 25. Yeah, I'm not grinding that hardcore chat. We're, we're 16, by the way, just for clarity. Like, nah, that's fine. We don't need that. So let's go into cyberspace. Yeah, Quintet kind of assumes a really hardcore grind mindset. OK, we're going to skip that crystal. Or I'm going to be in a place I have no idea where we're at. So our basic goal is to find the two that just went into cyberspace. I believe it's this crystal. Don't you love teleport puzzles, chat? Listen, <laughs> there is a reason when I took the notes, I'm like, I'm, I'm writing down the solution to this. I'm not going to I'm not going to do this blind. Get out of here. Oh, listen, Dr. G blame me for him, him getting lost. Oh, poor me. Hey, you on the road. Are you ignoring me? How did you get here? Well, that doesn't matter. I'm Dr. G. As a test, we came into the computer, but my stupid assistant can't find the exit. Can you lead me to the laboratory? I'll say I'll think about it. What do you want? Decide when I get out. Um, I think we want information about Dr. Akihabara. Okay, I'll tell you. I'm counting on you. So chat, get ready for the dumbest way ever to leave the maze. Are you ready, chat? And we left. <laughs> they were one room away from exiting. <laughs> I don't know how they got lost from there, to be honest with you. Yeah, that deserved a dot 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 from them. They're, they're kind of special. Oh, we managed to get out. Oh, I remember the man in the white suit. His memory is in the mainframe. It was saved there. But my protector is guarding it. It won't be easy to get in there. Well, do what you can. It would be a good chance to test the circuit. I'll give you this. We received the key. Hmm. Okay, so now that other door I started to go through, we have to get through. So we should be good to go. As I said before, I'm taking it real safe. We're, we're putting our tank first rather than doing like technically saving time by having our melee character first. Oh, there we go. So I'm going to hold up and believe I didn't I didn't win the belief game. 
I did not win, chat. Even if we fail to escape here, it'd be mostly fine. He might go first, but that's why we have 91 HP. No, he didn't get to go first? Okay. Well, that's what we call fortuitous. These things I do want to fight, but later. They're called face men. They're worth a lot of XP, actually. But as I mentioned earlier, I want to make sure that we don't level until after I get a very specific item. So we'll be coming back here to level. Oh, you did four damage to me? Huh. But he only does one in melee. Sure. Goodbye, Pumpy. Kind of reminds me of Wheelie from Kirby. But this time he's got a baseball bat. It's serious business time. Give me one second as I adjust myself on the map. So we cleared all of these rooms. I can remove these from my visuals. So we have one more room, I think, to go to. And then we're fine. So there is a scrap five that is out of the way. I do need to get that eventually. Ba -ba 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 -ba. We should be good. So we're going to have to come back to this room more than once. So I'm trying to hopefully memorize where to go here. Technically, I don't know if this is considered a sequence break. It was mentioned, I think, in the run as well. That I used to take some notes. Um, technically, we haven't had the dialogue to say our father has lost his memory. I mean, we talked to him in the beginning, and he didn't mention realizing it, it was us. And then we learned that it's not a trick, he just doesn't remember us. We're missing, like, two lines of dialogue. I really don't feel like doing that. Oh, I just realized something. I never equipped shield three. Let's equip shield three. And then we could put on the punch. And then since I think there's no enemies between us and the target, let's fix our order to make sure he goes first. The smite's going back in front for a little bit. So this boss is going to be very special chat. Very special RNG. We're going to have an RNG off. The boss will kill us. 6% of the time. We will only hurt the boss 25% of the time. We're in an RNG race. Let's go, chat. RNG time. <laughs> Roll the dice. I'm technically four times more likely to defeat him. But anyway, hope you enjoy the name of the upcoming boss. I believe this is where I gotta go. So we should level off of this. And then we still do not want to hit the next level 18. So we should hopefully hit level 17 and be good. So, oh, interesting. You can't access your menu here. That's kind of scary. I'm pretty sure I put punch three on, but oh well. Who are you? I'm the electronic guard who protects the cyberspace. My name's Bug Bug. What? Return the people's memory that I ate. We'll have to negotiate. Human memory tastes good. By the way, I'm hungry now. Let me taste your memory too. I know, what a name. So hopefully I put Punch 3 on, or this is going to be the world's longest fight of all time. So here's what we're going to do, chat. We're going to run forward, punch, and believe we did not crit. He missed us, that's good. Come on, crits. I'm mashing the button to hopefully recover faster. Please don't hit us. We'd also get confused, which would waste a lot of time. So even if it says miss, I might get hit by a status ailment. Ooh, back attack. This is potentially really big for us. Ooh, the crit. Oh, the crit. Just do eight times damage. Easy. Oh, that was a good boss fight. That was such a good boss fight. Hit level 17, exactly where I wanted to be. What a great boss fight. That was the best one of the run so far. We got that so fast. Oh, let's not cure ourselves yet. So we're going to put the remaining energy points into hit me. Because again, the tankier hit me is, the less I have to care. So shield three made us dodge literally everything. Put put nine points in power. I could put a point in charge, but it doesn't technically do anything. Because charge is weird. I guess I'll hold on to the one point in charge. I, I don't think it matters. 
when we get 10 more points, I'll put points in charge, because then I'll cross a 9-point threshold, I believe, is the first threshold. It's been a little while since I looked at the notes. So is there anything else I need to do in this menu? I should be at 101 energy, 99 guard, 99 power, which I am. I'm going to heal, hit me. Um... So, I think that went pretty well. I'm going to put the other character in the front. If I had a faster management routine, I could have won. Bug, bug, bug. Anyway, he's dead now. <laughs> we murdered Bug Bug Chat. We're the real monsters. So yeah, that, that was my favorite run so far. Oh, it won't let you re-equip in cyberspace in general. Interesting. It wasn't just the boss room. Can't say I normally try to do that. Rip, 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 bug, bug, yeah. Uh... What's the bottom left path? Oh, that just go- No, 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 I don't want to go to that one, I don't think. <laughs> go to this one. Okay. So. Uh, switch the order again, because I want to play ultra safe. How much do I need to level? 16? Oh, that's not many fights. So, I could take like one or two fights, but as I said before, I, I just don't, I don't want to risk it. I'd rather delay and get a couple of safe fights. No, thank you. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. So I'm just looking to see where we have to go here. One moment. So we just beat the boss. We need to eventually equip the chameleon glasses, which I could do now. I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's continue further. Ooh, not where I need to go. Let's memorize some of the layout here, chat. I'm gonna have to eventually come back here. Now I know that there's no treasure there, so we're looking for optional items. Could be an optional something to do down here, I think. Otherwise, I'll just go back the way I came. Uh, let's try to escape here. Oh, I got actually sandwiched in there. That was kind of unfortunate. So we should be at almost our destination. So this is the guy I want to fight on the way back for XP. That guy right there, right at the top. There we go. What do you want? This isn't the trash room. The prisoners are in here. I can't let you in. What? Your real father's in here. You've been separated, and his memory's gone. Oh, too bad. I get emotional when I hear a story like that. I'm somebody's child, too. I'll take you to your father. I won't say anything to Blackmore. That was easy. Be strong. Go for it. Carpe diem. Seize the day. Wow, he carpe diem does? Okay. I mean, that, that is seize the day. Literally. Level 27 to read. Holy. Yeah, we're not coming back for that chat. No way. <laughs> I don't even think we're going to hit level 20, like 2 <laughs> by the end of the game, let alone 25. Well, what? What have I done? Mickey, it's all coming back to me. I did something bad. Mickey, listen to me. Even though I lost my memory, I'm afraid I've made a terrible thing. I made a very powerful new laser. They're thinking of targeting Rococo. If that's true, Rococo's in danger. Quick, follow me! As he walks slowly. Okay, so we need to make sure we don't skip any chests here. For the most part. Because we need several things. We need scrap 9 and 5,000 gold. Those are the two key items. Mickey, this way, hurry! 
that we need mandatory to complete the run. Oh my gosh, that spawn was horrendous. We don't want to fight him. He'll do a lot of damage to us. I want this absolutely. I believe this is the gold. That's a lot of money. So technically, this could go towards side quest stuff, but it's fine. So he's here. I guess I could talk to him. Nikki, this way, hurry. Hmm. Oh, just let us immediately into this. Give me one second, child, as I consult the map to see if I need to follow him yet, or if I have to sidetrack right now. Okay, we should follow him first. Let's go up the stairs. Don't want to fight. These guys actually hurt a lot. Like, even though I have 99 guard, they will whittle me down. They're being very uncooperative. Holy. What is this RNG? What is this RNG movement? Stop. What is this? Stop it. Okay, there we go. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> I'm resetting the room. It's just... I'm getting trolled. I, this is like one of the only fights. I don't mind like bumping into them and escaping. This is an exception to that to that rule. I tried. Please don't kill me instantly. Okay, we, he didn't crit, so that's good. Do not want to see that character crit for sure. So we see a lot of items that we have to come back to eventually. Um, I believe I could take a detour here. And I need this. Scrap nine. So that's, those are the mandatory items. Everything else is now nice to have. So now I want to level before we go further. I'm just seeing where this goes. I'm gonna turn off the waterworks. question is... Oh, I got hit by an invisible enemy. That's not good. Um, I think we can escape this. So I th think... Maybe I could cyberjack here safely? See in a moment. Double checking something about the map. Like, it's definitely important I hit the switch. I guess I don't technically have to go back in the mainframe. Yeah, I don't technically have to go back in, so let's not do that then. So let's go ahead and chameleon glasses. And now I just need to level, so let's switch who's in front. So I have 8,000 in cash, that's pretty crazy. Oh, that would have been real bad if I did not put the lightning sword on. Now we'll, now we'll get the fight. We got 2.2 megs, which isn't too bad. And it should get more money, which is also good for us. I needed how much? 14? That's not too bad. Ooh, the guy spawning sideways there might have screwed me. Oh, it didn't. Good. So we're going to go backwards a little bit. We're not going to try to run around enemies. If I fight them, I fight them. Okay. That guy is not worth fighting compared to the others. It's fine that this guy spawns. In fact, if we level on the way to the place we have to go to, that's also kind of acceptable, to be honest with you. So we got a little bit of bonus cash, which is nice. Nothing there. Getting trolled. Please don't go first because of that. Thank you. Hmm. Just checking something. Okay. Oh, them spawning like that is so annoying, actually, because that potentially makes them go first. Fortunately, that hasn't happened yet. Okay, 
getting real close to leveling. We might not make it to the face man at this point because they are rapid spawning. Speaking of which, <laughs> right chat? I mean, if I level here, it's fine. Then I'll just go get the other item. We are so close to leveling. Got a cure. So that's a safety cure. I still don't think I'm going to do this fight at all. Because they are resistant to me from what I remember. We're going to smoke out of here to make sure I don't die. Thank you, smokes. We managed to save a lot of them by uh, playing as the other character. I really just want to show the face man once. I think we might level before that happens, though. Speaking of which... They really want to make sure I don't come through here, apparently. I think this is the last time I really need to worry about level ups for a while. Okay, we got the level up. So if things have not gone horribly awry, I should have two scrap nines. And two scrap nines makes a shield five. So I think we're good. Okay, so I think we have everything we need to beat the boss pretty soundly. Uh, anything else I need? I guess I can improve my charge now that it gets past a certain threshold. So that way I can attack faster with Smite. But honestly, at this point, I don't really need any more fights. So we have a hilarious amount of cash. Like, I know I'm going to be making more equipment later, but we have way more than I need. So that's a good sign. I might even be able to build a little robot at some point. Man oh man chat, would I have loved the ability to save my game at some point as we come down here. I'm double checking if any of these are actually required for anything. Funny enough, I think we just ignored our father. <laughs> I don't think our father actually leads us to the plot at all. So I think with that in mind then, let's go back to full escape plan. We'll, we'll see what the father has to say. So I definitely want shield 5. So sh shield 5 plus backpack is pretty strong. Hmm. I'm just double checking where physically the boss is in relation to us. That's not always evident when you look at maps. The other thing I need to be very careful of is whether or not we need scraps for the future. Is we're actually almost at the end of my notes. So we went that way, that's fine. Okay, then I guess that's it. I guess I could set up for the boss. I don't need any more fights for the rest of the area. Let's make sure hit me is number one. Alright, we'll just ignore Father. I don't know what he's going to tell us over there, but I don't feel like going back up those stairs. If we could have saved, I would have gone back and done it, but going through potentially like five encounters, no thank you. Ooh, they're actually able to damage us. That's not great. I mean, fortunately, as I said before, we got a, we got a shield that we're not normally supposed to do in a run. So that might have helped us block there. And as you can imagine, if those things do 9 damage, they instantly kill the other robot with 1 HP, of course. <laughs> just things I didn't really want to deal with. Oh, there's the face man. You know what? Just for chat, we'll fight the face man once. Gonna switch him to the right weapon, though. I want you to look at the XP we get for this fight. It should be pretty bonkers. 
Oh, it's only one of him. That's disappointing. Look at face man chat. Goodbye. Five megabytes. We were getting like one XP, by the way. Solid for killing the commanders. The face man by himself is worth, I think, three. So I think a fight with three of them is nine XP, roughly. So he's worth more XP than basically everything in the game. It's very silly. I don't know why he gives that much. But such is life, I suppose. Worth. <laughs> right, Chad? Absolutely worth it. I just want to get by these enemies. Fortunately, if we do take any extra damage, it doesn't really matter. Well, this matters, actually. There we go. I need to get by them, but if they block the path, then we're in some trouble. Okay, we got through. I believe I need to take... Ooh, do I go left or... Oh, I might even need to have gone right there, actually. That's the problem when you have multiple tiers. I know I need to get to the lower path eventually. I think the bottom left is not the correct direction. I think I gotta go up to go right and then over. My goal is to get to that lower floor. I think I had to go this way to do this. Yes. Okay. Getting trolled. <laughs> it's fine. That's why we escape. Thank you, Escape. I could be using smoke bombs here, but I think with the other character in the lead, we're fine. So before we go too far into this area... Ooh, do I go right or left from here? Might be right. Yeah, it's right. This guy's a troll. He's in my way. He's gonna block me. I might have to actually play aggressive here to kill him. Can this character even do damage out of curiosity? No. Sorry, hit me. We removed all your power. You're not able to do any meaningful damage. So the problem is that enemy is blocking the way. So we'll we'll stun him here with an escape, and then we'll get by him. And then what I think I want to do... Is I'm going to preemptively equip this in case I forget to order swap later. So I'm going to make sure I have shield 5 on, and I do. I can technically put shield 3 on our tank, because I don't need immunity to rust anymore. So this is also just free guard and evasion for our strategy. So, you know, just in case something goes wrong, we're even less likely to take damage now. So I believe the evasion is the, the block chance, so 16% total evasion to just ignore any hit. Okay, this is promising. This is looking correct. That's looking unfortunate. So this enemy's in the way. Hmm. I might have to chance putting the other character first. We, we need to get through this. Annoying. I wanted to just use the setup for the boss, but I think with this enemy in the way, I gotta go back. So we have an okay chance of not dying if we take a fight we don't want to. So that's always positive. Found another 500 gold. Hey, I think I have enough for the side quest now. Oh my gosh, chat, I think I actually have a money surplus. I could do a 5k wasting side quest and not be impacted. I'll have to do the math later to check literally how much it is. But I think that's enough now. Rolling my eyes as I get ambushed by the invisible troop. So levels I don't think matter for the most part for... I'll double check. I don't think I need another specific level up. So if we happen to get more XP, it's okay. But we have basically all we need from a stat line to win. Like, the only thing we're going to be raising is about three and a half levels worth of charge. And that's it. We, we're only going to gain three meaningful levels 
about more like four between now and the end of the game and we're gonna level when we fight this next boss potentially twice so <laughs> we're almost done leveling for the game believe it or not at what was it level 18 so kind of roll your eyes chat at the level 27 stuff because we're almost done okay so i need to go up i believe make sure my order is correct put the fist back on yeah it's, it's kind of crazy like how little we need and i even have items to sell Okay, so what I'm going to do post stream chat, I'm going to do math and see if I can get away with doing one of the side quests. I don't know if I could do both. I could try. I have a seed for another side quest. And we can save money by going in a house in the future. We'll see. Let's unequip the mouse and let's proceed. That is so rude. Well, why didn't it activate? Oh, I hit the button! Game, please, you can't do this to me. Oh, please don't kill me. That is so unfair. We need to escape immediately. It wouldn't activate. I don't know what happened there. I was definitely mashing it and nothing happened. Yeah, I needed that to happen. Holy, that was so rude. That was nerve-wracking, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so we could fight that face man if we still needed to level, but obviously we don't. I forgot there was one more room between us and the boss. This could actually be a problem. Speaking of problems... Uh... Do you mind tanking for me as I get by this? Because I really don't want to take this XP. Super unfortunate. Blue kisses at me. Cool. So anyway, let's go this way. I don't want to fight any of you. I believe this will go straight to the boss, which I'd like to say is pretty rude that we went this far in the game and I only had like a couple of rooms I could save in for some reason. So we're going to do a safety save there. Because remember, I tried saving earlier in the lab and it didn't work. So there's just some rooms you just can't save before for some reason. Kind of annoying. Anyway, now that we've finally gotten our save, let's put Smite first, hit me second. And I think I should be good to go. So this is just the battle of RNG. So we're gonna believe in the RNG chant. Yeah, this is definitely the boss. I don't get it. Why do the hackers care about this stone? Akihabara thinks it's connected to time. No matter how I check, it's just a stone. Giving up already? To Dr. Akihabara analyze it again? Hmm. No, that's my- that's against my principles. Who's there? What? Return the Tetron? Are you crazy? <laughs> that's so ridiculous. The joke of the century. He's gathered three Tetron by himself. What? Why would you treat my cute little helper so harshly? I won't forget what you said. Rose, get back. I'll take care of this. Are you okay, kid? Hope you get revenge on Blackmore. Prepare yourself. What a weird quote to say. Anyway, we're fighting the Blackmore tag. Abbreviated to the Black tag. So, chat, tell me if you heard this one before. We're gonna walk forward and jab him repeatedly. And pray we crit. We blocked, we blocked again, blocked again, love it, love to see it. We're going in, we crit, oh, but he hit us, oh, he hit us, but it didn't count. He hit us, but it didn't count. Thank you, evasion. So the way blocking works in this game is that on a 32 frame interval, if you block one attack, you block all attacks on that 32 frame interval. Wow, the RNG is out of control right now. I think he might die from this. Oh, he's real close, chat. He is real. Wow, he still hasn't hit us. Oh my gosh. Oh, big bomb. Oh, oh, we do we get a back attack? Oh, it's gonna be so sick. Is this GG? 
Oh, so close. Oh, we finally got hit for 119 damage. Wow. Anyway. Well, let's move forward. And let us revive. That's why we brought repairs. That was pretty good RNG. I'll take that, chat. So that did 21, which is a little concerning. So we have the shield pack plus the boots in order to hopefully survive stuff. Please don't hit me. Good. Did I get behind him? No, not quite. We need like one more crit. Oh, never mind. We did enough minimum damage. Okay, that went pretty well. That went pretty well. Hit level 20. That's exactly what level I want to be at. So we're back on track with the run, chat. We did it. So we're gonna go ahead and, uh... It's not really needed anymore, but yeah, we're just gonna... Put a little more energy there. Just a little bit more. Uh, everything else goes into charge. So that way it can attack faster, so the bosses get less turns. I guess I can heal with my spare cash? So we're at 9,000 gold. Holy. I haven't even sold my other items yet, as a reminder. Like, we picked up, like, the Cestus, which I definitely don't need. Don't think I need Boots 1 anymore, or Bomb. Picked up a Spare Sword 2, which I think I also don't need. So yeah, we have a hilarious amount of cash. I can sell a shield too. Because I only really need one at any given point. So yeah, we have a lot of cash, chat. This is making me feel a lot better about the run. We have a lot of safety cash. I might even be able to get away with a side quest. We're going to be picking up, I think, 3,000 in the next town. And I think I need about seven or 8,000. I'll double check the math. But yeah, this is feeling real good. So I don't need Sword 2 for anything else. As I said before, we're basically done crafting for the game. I could get Power Pack to do more damage, but no, I just want to survive. So, I think we are good to go then. He's been defeated. Uh, let's change our order. The funny part is I could just give him Bleed 2, just because. <laughs> it's weaker than Axe, sadly. Do so we have a spare shield, too, if I really need it? With with the evasion... Look at that evasion score in the bottom right. 147 evasion. That's because of the shield pack, plus the boots, everything else. We actually have a decent dodge chance, especially with 99 speed. I do not want to get into any encounters here if I can avoid it. But I think the game is going to troll me. Speaking of which, speaking of which, do you mind not doing this? Okay, there we go. Oh, almost got through. Well, we have 131 health, so I don't super care what you do. Nice block. Again, I think it's our shield increase that's making us block more. This is working wonders for us. Wow, three blocks in a row. Yeah, our shield is definitely putting in the work right here. Took 11 from a crit. Why can I not escape this encounter? Took one. There we go. We either take 11 or one damage, depending on if we get crit. That seems about normal. Oh, the enemy's in such a bad position. There we go. So we're almost done with the session chat. We just got to get to this room, which might be easier. It might be easier said than done. Um, wow, what is, what is this AI pattern? Hello? How do I get through this room without getting destroyed? Um... I think I just gotta retreat by them. I, I'm sure there's a way to manipulate it. I could probably go watch a run again to get an understanding. But there's something not obvious about how it's done. So going to the left and the right didn't help. I don't know if moving forward would have changed the pattern at all. I'm going to save my smokes for a little later. We're almost at the point in the game where I don't need them anymore. Uh, 
Ooh, going back in the room causes him to automatically hit you. That's called Great Placement from Quintet yet again. Thank you, Quintet. I love enemies that I can't dodge that are just immediately in your face. It's my favorite. Yeah, there must be some way to get them to react to your inputs. Maybe they read your inputs when you go through the door or something. And if I hold, like, to the right or something, I can make them go to the right. That's what I'm theory crafting right now. Because I know there's no way they took this fight in the run, for a fact. I will smoke grenade. We're almost- we're, we actually are the right level to get the infinite vanish thing going. But I'm not going to be able to get to it for a while, due to what's about to happen. And okay, we managed to get through eventually. Get me out of here. Hey kid, looks like you won. I knew you would. Blackmore's all mouth. I will take these to the Sky Ford. He's gone, so you can become commander. So that's it. Rose, how could you betray me this way? I didn't mean to betray you. You did it all on your own. Too late. They're coming here to get the Tetron. Too bad for you. Oh no. If that happens, don't you know what this is? The laser remote. It's targeted on the planet of Quinton X. If I push this game over, they knew about me, they'd make me pay. So I've got nothing to lose. This is crazy. Stop, Blackmore. Complain in the next life. <laughs> See ya. The white light chat. Oh, the game over music plays. But things are not as they seem, chat. Hmm, this place looks a little familiar. Oh, blah! Hmm. A love letter's in the mailbox, chat. Paulin, you're the sunshine of my life. I want to see you always. Signed, your secret admirer. Hmm, chat. Where have we seen a layout of a town like this before? Hmm. Are we going to get turned into a baby again? Maybe. Hey, look, chat. Oh, it's almost like there was something over here before. Hmm, I wonder what kind of town had a bulletin in the middle. Mayor's House Fun Drive. Details of the building site to building committee. So that's one of the side quests I could do. An unknown theft ring has been active here. Lock your doors when you go out. Now the question is, am I allowed to save the game here? I am. Give me a hint. When you go to a place you don't know, listen to people you meet. You might find out what to do. Well... Let's save that for another time, Chad. I think that was very significant progress. So uh, out of about a three and a half hour total run, we are about only an hour left. But obviously, since we're looking to mess around show side quests, it's going to go probably closer to another two and a half hours if I had to do a rough estimate. I think that's about the pace I wanted to achieve with the side quest stuff. But yeah, we're pretty much at the end of the game. Uh, a lot of the last 20 or so minutes of that particular run I'm basing it off of is the final boss itself. So in terms of dungeons, there really is not too much left. There is one really big dungeon after we're done with this portion, but that's about it. But anyway, chat, let's go let's chat. So how do we feel the session went? Well, it was a little dicey with some of the enemy movements, but I think... Adjusting so that we had our other character tank ended up being the right call. I'm glad I made that adjustment and made my life a lot less stressful. We still have a few smoke bombs to get through the upcoming dungeon, and then we'll no longer need them. I think in terms of levels, we are literally exactly where I need to be. So I didn't overlevel by accident and potentially mess up something later in the run. And I think in terms of money, we're also pretty good. So what I'm going to do between streams, I'm going to check how much money I need to do certain things. I know I'm going to be getting at least 3,000 in the place that we're in at the moment. And I'll double check some of the chests along the side to see if there's something I could pick up in maybe one of the caves. So that way we could potentially do some of the very expensive side quests in this game without compromising our ability to beat the game. So we ended with over, I think, either eight or nine repairs, but way over five. So we have a lot of potential revives for the final boss. And honestly, if we don't die at all between now and the end of the game, that is a lot of chances to beat the final boss. So 
We'll see how things go. But hopefully you had a good time. We, we turned into mouse. We made mouse friends. We destroyed a base. We destroyed another base. We got mad at Coral's father for wasting our time. And then, uh, yeah, we even went into cyberspace. And in fact, chat, that little cyberjack we got will play into another bonus area, which will show off in the final part of the game, presumably. So look forward to that. Those little uh, Act Razor 2 advertisements will finally have a purpose now that we have the cyberjack. Says so we found our first, fo first mass followers for the Church of Disney, yeah, pretty much. But with that, we're going to go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video or the VOD, I'd just like to say thank you again for watching. Hope to see you next time.